All right, let's jump back into this. Uh, I got to go to Ginda Law Office. So, taxi. One more two. I need to make some more money. What up, King Cage? All right, so Ginda Law Office. Uh, I'll probably take a cab there, I think. There is also a side case to pick up. I should pick up, honestly. Yeah. Let me go pick it up real quick and then we'll head over there. Because I am trying to do all the side cases, school stories in this game. They're a lot of fun. Let's go. Okay. I think you're all hot sauce. Bag of chips. Whoa. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Tim. Yo, how do you feel about Ryuji being in the pants? They do that shit. Trivia the fuck out. Hot damn indeed. Hot damn indeed. I mean, he said he was going to do it, but damn. It's still, you know. I just don't ever get used to that. I'm sorry. When someone, even when someone tells me ahead of time they're going to donate to me or whatever the heck, I just, I don't get used to that. <laughs> it's always like a genuine gratitude. That's for house ashes. Yo, appreciate that, Tim. Uh, gotcha, sir. Yeah, thank you, man. I know you said you were going to uh, do that for me to help get me the game so we can play it Friday. And now that's taken care of. All right, where's the side case at? I already passed it up. Hope you had a good day, everybody. Um, uh, what is up with the side case? Okay, here we go. Now it's started. Like what the? I said, give me the goddamn money. Move it. Oh God, someone's getting robbed. I, I, I don't have the code to open the register. I'm just a part-timer. I don't give a shit what you are. Open it or you're dead. Bullfish man, I thought about something, sir. Real quick. Um, This won't be for every Yakuza game, but I did think about, about something that we could possibly do together in the future. I don't know how it's going to work. Essentially, I was thinking like I can have you on to help voice some of the characters when I get you to play Zero or Kiwami. But the only issue is I'm playing on console. I can't share my screen in Discord. Never mind. Yeah, that wouldn't work. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. That wouldn't work. If I had on PC, maybe that'd be better, but nah. <laughs> Yeah, been a terrible day waiting for publishers clearing house to call me that one. Damn it! <laughs> I'm sorry, Tim. I'm sorry. <clears throat> My friend wanted me to do it for three houses. That's fair. Yeah, it's just the only issue is I wouldn't be able to share my screen so that way you can see what I'm doing in real time. You would be on a delay, delay like the stream, so that wouldn't work. I just had a quick thought. I was like, wait, nope, never mind. Never mind. That won't work. <laughs> never mind. All right. Hmm? What the? Is that a robbery? And cut. That's the last shot for the day. Thank you, everyone. Oh my God, with Kefka with the ten biddies. Y'all show me a lot of love so far. Thank you. Tomorrow morning we pick things up. Back at the studio. Extras, you'll be getting an email from us soon. Thanks again. Karma! How's your day, Karma? Glad you're here. Welcome. To the insanity. Oh, man. They're shooting Office Alone 4 here? I wish I could have snuck in among the extras. Good, yours. Uh, work was annoying, but I made it. And I'm here. And I'm better for it because I'm glad to be streaming. You know me. I like that phone she has. According to Chatter, they're shooting a robbery scene at another location too. 
Are movies with robberies that popular? Yeah, yeah, man. And it's already bad enough. I I didn't tell you this, but it's already bad enough that like recently, from what the higher ups say, they've temporarily changed our hours. Essentially, I'm only working 37 and a half hours a week right now because, but it didn't tell us why exactly, but I have a good strong feeling about it. Uh, so instead of doing my usual 40, they basically have us, have us working 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at seven and a half hours because we still get unpaid lunch. If we take, I guess. I'm taking my lunch, though. I need to eat and chill for about half an hour after the old motherfuckers over the phone. Uh, but yeah, it's dumb. Dumb. I didn't even bother hitting my boss about this shit because I kind of know why. And it's because me and others are not hitting our required amount of completes per hour like they want us to. And it's just like they want to keep telling us, well, we need your help doing this. We need your help this. Can we, come on, guys. Let's do this. Let's get this. Da -da. And it's like, motherfuckers. That people don't want this shit. So yeah. We did a mic hype emote with you on a fire. Wait, was you on fire? During a during a spirit bomb charge? What the fuck? Sir! Sir! That's that's a lot, okay? You're trying to do a lot right now. I already, I already got the spirit bomb, okay? That's right there. Alright. And then I already got a hype emote okay that's right there okay i even got a dab emote for you freaking wonderful people all right uh wherever the hell that is where's my dab hold on all right i got a dab okay and then i do have this one i do have some emote servers that are tier specific like sub sub tier one sub tier two sub tier three this is what well, I, I have to upgrade this one but this was done a while back so I got the dab, plus I got that sort of fiery rage when I'm raging. Okay. That is uh, either for tier two or tier three. I can't remember. I don't know. It was done a long while back. I need to get updated, though, at some point. But I haven't worried about it because no one really subs to tier three or tier two right here. So. Yeah. That's so draft space with things just getting more expensive by... Yeah, exactly, Karma. Exactly. Hence why I'm trying to get a job by January or so. I'm trying to replace my current job by January where I'm making more, at least a little bit more money, at least a few more bucks on the hour. Because this shit they keep doing to us with my current job, even though it's work from home and I'm staying safe from COVID, it's bullshit. I kid you not. If it was not for Twitch, if it was not for the wonderful people that choose to support me financially through either donations or Patreon or freaking bits, uh, subs, I would be, I would have been fucked a long time ago because of how my job does, you know, me and the other coworkers there would not. Oh, I don't know about everybody's situation, but I know my situation. I would have been fucked financially. Yeah. Anybody here in the holiday season? Yeah. I mean, personally for me, I don't really got anything going on specific like holiday season wise. I mean, I've, I mostly have what I want already. The only other game I really want to get, actually two games, is uh metroid dread i still want to get that and play that um possibly nick all stars brawl um uh, there's halo infinite but that's like on game pass and i can just get that for a month in december i'm not worried about that i do need to renew my ps plus yearly like one year subscription by the end of november but nothing's really too crazy game wise i need to get i'm just trying to Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Oh, God. Drop button is brutal here. The economy is shit. Yeah, I understand. Kefka, it is. Yeah, my boys don't know what the fuck's going on with me. Oh, I agree 100%. I agree 100 Karma, but, like, no matter what the fuck I say, I know it's not going to help. So I just don't really say shit to him because it's not going to really do anything. I have to take action outside of my job to make positive change for myself hence why i'm job hunting when i can on weekends when i have time hence why i'm trying to improve on my streams and whatnot and bring more people in here so that way if people do want to support me financially you know they're more encouraged to because i like i try to you know have a good time here make this shit extra entertaining for you guys stuff like that um i got some ideas for next month i'm gonna try and do you know especially since next month is my twitch anniversary and my birthday month too um 
Blowfish Man, if you're still here, he uh, I talked to him about doing a sponsorship uh, that he did with uh, Raid Shadow Legends. And I mean, honestly, I'm thinking about doing that next month. Uh, apply to get like a sponsorship going with them. All I got to do is stream that for like four hours and that helps me get make some extra money. You know, I've been looking into other ways to try and apply to get some early uh, game keys and possibly other sponsorships stuff like that in the future. So because fuck the job, fuck the job, F FDJ, fuck the job. All right. <laughs> job market is mess too, which good luck with finding super place for job. Oh, I get emails almost daily, Karma. I'm not too worried about it. It's just a matter of fact of finding something that fits my schedule. That's been the major hurdle is like, cause I prefer streaming in, in the evening time like I have been and do like a nine to five type of job. So it's just a matter of trying to find a work from home job that fits my schedule Monday through Friday, nine to five, no weekends. <laughs> cause fuck that shit. I want my weekends. <laughs> I don't know if you're on uh, GPU mine. You doing for extra money? Jeez. Please, Tim. Yeah. Yeah. Once I get back from all the chaos moving in this washer dryer, if you ask me going on now, start supporting my favorite people again. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, and uh, Karma, uh, I didn't tell you about this, and I, I, needed, to, uh, I needed to tell you and Nuri about this, because I don't think I told either one of you, but it's definitely optional. So, you know, I have a Patreon now, if you want to check it out. Um, And then... I'm just basically making you aware. I'm just telling you about it. I'm not forcing you by any means to support me this way. But, um, I want to show you this real quick. Okay, my bad, my bad. But I was just letting you know about the fucking shits. Okay. Jeez, I got like invite only Q&A sessions once a month as a perk. I'm just broke like a motherfucker now. I know. I was so broke. That's fucking me up too. I want to support. I want to have more money to support more people. I'm just so you know about this shit when if you decide to when you're back on your feet and whatnot and want to support it. Stuff like that. That's all. Oh shit, my bad. My bad. I'm a I'm a forgetful motherfucker then. I'm sorry. Sorry. Don't slap me. Alright? It might feel too good if you slap. I'm just saying, don't slap me. <laughs> We went ghost probably after a week. Uh, oh, that's right. That's right. BRB. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, it's uh, for a movie. Jeez. I was really worried for a second second there. Guess I should beat it. I don't want to get in the way of cleanup. All right. Investigate Cafe Alps. Wait, can I not investigate right now? Uh, what? Kefa, I know you've been job hunting too, man. Sorry it's been rough for you as well. Um, I hope there are things outside of that or besides that it's been at least good for you, man, or better. Um, uh, and I'm trying to figure out... Oh, it wants me to make an observation of the entrance. But, uh... Hold on. That's again a law office. Welcome back, Armin. Where the fuck is the Cafe Alps at? I know I'm not tripping. Hold on. Bring your hut. Inside cafe. Earth Angel. Organic cafe. I don't need organic cafe. I need cafe Alps. See, I know what you had set up and stuff because I was in the stream when you initiated it not long after. Got you. My bad. That's why I said uh, don't slap me. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, my brain forgot, but if you slap me, I don't know. 
I was make, making a joke, it might feel good, but never mind. <laughs> there it is. Here we go. No, nah, I'm not feeling fine today. You <laughs> just not today. All right, all right. I gotta catch you on a day when you're feeling violent. Got it. <laughs> Let's see. Is this it? Uh, it should be right here. Wait a minute. This should be it. unless it's on the other side. It could be on the other side. How the stream's been going, though. I mean, I feel like it's going pretty good. I feel like October's been like a slower month, though, compared to last month. But that's partially because last month was September month, and, like, I was doing a special September goal where if I reach 100 subs by or before the end of September, um, I was going to take a pie to my face live on stream, and sure enough, people helped get me there. Wolfish man who's in chat hanging around help me and quite a bit of other people did uh and there's a clip of it on my channel right now if you want to check it out uh took a pumpkin pie of whipped cream on it to my face whipped, uh, apparently uh i guess i did it wrong or something or too much whipped cream because a lot of whipped cream went on the fucking floor on my carpet but it wasn't easy. it wasn't hard to clean up so best clip ever <laughs> yeah uh and then last and then last month I also had a subathon where I twerked. So so there's clips of that too of me twerking for uh subs. I forgot how many I did. I think it was I think it was every five subs I twerked or something like that. Oh my god, no damn it. <laughs> no, I missed the pie. Yeah. Yatoshi, what up? Twerk yeah, last month I did a subathon where I twerked for every five subs. Uh that I got on that day. For the subathon. Um uh, Roll the clip, please. Ugh. Fine. Let me find it. God. So demanding. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Grabs lotion. Oh, my God. Terrible. Terrible. All right. Let me find the clip. Oh, what the hell? Uh, What the hell? Twitch, what the fuck are you doing? Twitch, what the fuck are you doing? Oh god, why am I hearing myself twice? Sorry about that. Um All right. Uh I'm not sure if something happened to Twitch or my account, but it's saying my, my videos are temporarily unavailable. I don't know if I got hit with something I didn't, was not made aware of. Uh, what the fuck? Um, I don't think I got hit with a copyright. Oh, well, unfortunately, I cannot pull up the clip. Uh, yeah, dude. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Um, it will not. Okay, good. It's not just me. It's doing it to you too, Blowfish. You can't look at, you can't look at mine or your shit either. Wow, okay. Yeah, Twitch fucking up. I can't see. Yeah, I can't see my VODs or nothing, dude. Twitch got hacked again or some shit, probably. I don't know. <laughs> Knowing them. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm weak on the Toshi, though. Know? He's like, he's like, puts lotion away. Sad. <laughs> oh my god, hilarious. <laughs> Terrible. Oh god. Alright, I think this is on the other side. It just seems like it is, but let's check. Itoshi, I, I worry about you sometimes.
Doesn't make sense. This is Cafe Alps. What the fuck? Me too. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's nice to come out. Robbie's going on in the out. Oh, something tells me this isn't a movie shoot. Uh, check out. Maybe I should make an conversation with the entrance of the place. Yeah. I kept... This is so weird. I thought it meant Cafe Alps. Yeah, Cafe Alps. What the fuck? But this is an Italian place. What? Why are they confusing me with Italian? What game? What? Wow. Really? I know, I probably gotta go back through here. Alright, let me do that. You hate barbecue sauce? Why? Where the fuck it come from? I don't know, man. Where where have you gone to get some barbecue sauce lately? You know any fast food places? Order from any fast food places? Sit down. Motherfucker. I would say it depends on the barbecue sauce, man. I can understand that some are too tangy, too sweet, or like... Maybe I'd be high for seven. <laughs> that's, that's understandable. Hold on. DDT, bitch. Really, guys? All right. I think it's here. And then I can go down here. All right. And then I think this, what the hell? Okay. Mahjong. So is this not the entrance to the freaking cafe? Weird. Yeah. Cafe La Alps. Weird as fuck, it's back here though. Hmm. And I can't do shit. Game, why do you mess with my emotions like this? Why must you torture me so? Yeah, we're not getting anywhere with this, guys. I'm sorry. I was trying to figure out this damn side quest thing. Um, apparently, it's not working the way I wanted to. All right. Well, let's go to get the law office then. Fuck it. It. All right. Who dropped this? Did you, lady? Of course, it was you. Excuse me.
Okay. Oh, perfect timing, Yagami-san. And here I was about to go without you. Are you ready to visit Mamiya-san? Turn it home. It's far, sorry, top of my head for the home of Ihara's victim who doesn't know we're dropping by. Oh boy, this should be interesting. Drama. Wait, hold on, where are we going? Mama Yaya's apartment, okay. There we go. So I'm making sure which one it was at the top. A drama be a, is a pain. I mean, in real life, yeah. In a video game, it's often funny. Here we go. Remember, we're speaking to a victim here, Yagami-san. One whose assailant we defended in court. If we had tried to make an appointment, she probably would have declined outright. Hmm. Not sure showing up unannounced is much better, but let's just hope she's willing to talk. <sighs> yes, there's no way around it. It's a risk we had to take. Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yes? I'm Shirasaki from the Genda Law Office, the attorney for Mr. Akihiro Ehara. You may remember me from the hearings. Why are you here? Don't you know it's rude to show up at someone's door uninvited? I understand, but we have a pressing matter that directly concerns you. If we could do this another way, we would. I apologize for any inconvenience. I'm sorry, but the trial's over and done with. You know I can legally turn you away. You're right, but I'm only asking a moment of your time. Please, would you mind? Wait, what? I'm reading what you said, Blowfish. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, you're telling me this is the same one who did Hanada in freaking uh, Naruto. That does not sound like her. Now, I don't know about the other character she voiced. I don't know what anime that's from. But that does not sound like Hanada. Wow, okay. Oh, see, I didn't watch Bleach uh, dubbed. I watched it subbed. I think. Well, hold on. I'm trying to remember. Yeah. Got you, got you. I actually need to go back to Bleach because I only watched the first five seasons, and I still got a lot more shit of that to watch. <laughs> So, are we really out of luck here? Damn. I don't have time for this. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Wait, 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 before you do that. Sorry to butt in. I'm Yagami, a detective helping Sari here out. And? Can't let this be the end. I need to talk to her. It's opening this door. Somehow. Uh. What should we do, chat? What should we do? Make it sound quick and simple, empathize with her, or sweet talk her. Essentially, we're trying to find out information. Sweet talk her, vote one. All right. We're based on finding some information regarding the case and freaking Ihara. Uh, but the trial's been over with, whatnot. And. We're at, the vi we're at the victim's place that he groped, basically. We're trying to ask the woman he groped some questions. We got one vote for sweet talk. We got one vote for emph emph uh, emph yeah. emphasize. Any, any other? Anyone else? We're now we're at a tie. Don't make me flip a coin. I'll flip a coin. I got freaking coins. I'll flip it. All right. Heads, sweet talk. 
Tails, empathize. What did I land on? Tails. Are you aware of the trending video that's leading people to believe Ahara committed murder? Thing is, the victim was confirmed to be alive in Yokohama until the morning of your own incident. And since Ahara was on the train with you, they're ruling him out as a murder suspect. So, what is it you're getting at? I'm just trying to ensure you're in the clear from any of that unfortunate business. If we could do this now, we'd never bother you again. All we need is 10 minutes of your time. How absurd. We're only trying to help, but if later would work better for you, we could always come back another time. With our supervisor, of course. That visit would probably be more formal. There'd be paperwork, audio tapes, you know the drill. You'll want to clear your schedule. <laughs> I really don't have time for any of that. No, I understand, and it's entirely our fault. We thought we'd do this casually, but we really should have been more by the book. But it is a murder case, so we do have to make sure our paperwork is in order here. Now, would you prefer to schedule a date to accommodate a more formal interview? You said 10 minutes if we do it now, right? We'll make it as painless as possible. All right. Hold on. Hey, it worked. We really do appreciate it. Well, I'm impressed. I'm also not sure I should trust a word you say ever again. <laughs> really? <laughs> I did get us in the door, didn't I? Right? I'm joking. I do appreciate the help. Now let's not screw this up. This is likely the only conversation we'll have with Mamiya san. True. Hello. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Again, we apologize for the intrusion. Let's just get this over with already. All right. That's the victim that got groped on uh, on the train station. Okay, bye-bye. He's like, okay, bye bye. We'll make this quick. Good kid. Could use a conversation opener with Mamiya. Uh, Mamiya, uh, let's take a quick look around for something useful. Huh. True. Hmm. Hmm. Hey. Hmm. We're correctly. Yo, Mamiya lives here with her husband and son. Seems pretty happy in this picture. True. What the? Hey. Right. Are you telling me there's nothing else I can pick up from? Uh-huh. There's gotta be something. Some over here I'm missing. Damn it, Yagami, come on. Suspicious. Hmm. True. What's up with the kid though? Yeah. 
That kid is being so restless in the corner over there. Like, what are you doing? Same train. Yep. Suspicious. Yo, what is up for a kid? Bro, what? I'm looking around for shit that'll help me with a conversation starter. Taking over lifestyle, basically. There's the good time for the pat down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he said that. Uh. All right. I guess we're done. We're done. Oh, yeah. This game's crazy. Karma, you've missed out quite a bit on this game. So, talk. I've already told the police and the court everything they could want to know about that morning. Real quick. All right. Blowfish man, you might have to help me a little bit with this. Anybody else too? You have missed a ton of shit in this game, okay? First off, all right, I went undercover out of high school, okay, where I'm an outside counselor at all these different clubs, right? Okay, I'm basically like a dance coach. I'm a, uh, I'm part of this MRC, which is like a detective type of like club. Let's see, I went under. I'm going. I'm currently undercover, like for a boxing gym thing. Uh, I was doing some skateboarding shits. Um, oh, you missed the girls bar shit where I had to go in the car there and, uh, essentially sweet talk all these different, like female, like kind of bartenders to talk to the person I need to talk to. Um, uh, it was similar to like a dating sim type of thing. Let's see. Oh, I can go on dates on this game. I can have girlfriends in this game. Um, uh, shit. What else? There's so much. It's a fun combat stuff. Uh, crazy story shit. Uh, let's see. There's someone else trying to basically be the next Penny Thief or Professor Penny type person, motherfucker, in this game. Um, shit. There's so much. There's like a crazy ass VR game thing in here. Uh, I oh, I had to befriend a cat to had to have the cat lead me to a ramen stand. Let's see. <laughs> oh, I got a dog that helps me out now with detective work. Um. Let's see. There's so much crazy shit in this game. It's fantastic. And and a lot of that's just the side stuff. That's not even the main story. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm currently still undercover for the dance club, MRC, or box club, boxing. I think those are the main four. Oh, I'm, oh, I forgot the biker gang. Okay, I'm undercover there too for a biker gang thing. <laughs> So it's like, I got the main story case I'm working on. And then I got this like sort of side main case thing dealing with this guy called the professor and all these like school story shits are essentially related to that. Wow. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's fun as hell. Uh, y'all can be undercover so much. Feels like a fuck boy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, both us, man, if you can, like, if there's anything else I forgot, let me know or mention in chat, because I, I tried to cover, like, sort of the gist of what she's missed out on. I'm sorry to put you through this again, but would you mind going over those details with us? Also, real quick, the main case we're working on is we're dealing with this guy called Ihara, all right, who apparently was arrested and went to court for groping this woman we're talking to at a public train station, but somehow knew where a dead corpse was of a person that he believed bullied his son into suicide. All right. And he blames that person for his son's death. And somehow there is video footage of him essentially killing that person. But the, here's the crazy thing. He did the whole groping thing supposedly around the same time as the murder of that person. I think to be a good uh, undercover when you got to have a little bit of fuck boy in you though. Yeah. Cause you are essentially selling a 
persona that the person you are dealing with wants to see. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So now we're trying to talk to the victim of the who was a grope. Trying to get some more information. It's, it's uh. Yeah. What else is left to discuss? I understand how pressured you might feel. I've gone over this so many times. I wonder if pressing charges was even worth it. No. What you did was both brave and inspirational. Many victims are afraid to come forward for any number of reasons. Your voice might give them courage to find their own. Ironic. Hearing this from that predator's defense team. Well, perhaps. Would you mind walking us through that day from the beginning? It's nothing so mysterious. I was just on my way to work when some man grabbed my butt. That's all it was. Nothing else was out of the ordinary that day? Correct. Not to pry, but where is your husband today? Still at work? He usually doesn't get home until later. On that note, I have to feed my son, so let's get this wrapped up soon. We'll try our best to. Moving along. On that day, you and Ahara-san boarded the train bound for Ikebukuro, correct? Had you ever seen the man before then? No. At least not that I can recall. How many times must I go over this? Your lawyer friend here already knows everything I have to say. What do you gain by getting me to repeat things? That's the thing. Yagami-san here is a specialist. He can take whatever you repeat, analyze it, and draw up an entirely new conclusion. Right? Of course. That's exactly why I'm here. Great. Now the person's really on. Seems to be a recurring thing lately. In the security footage, as you stepped onto the train, it looks like Ahara-san stepped right behind you. Were you aware of his presence at this point? I was. It felt like someone kept pushing up against me with no sense of personal boundaries. I remember second-guessing myself at the time, thinking it was normal for the train to be that packed. Then the train took off while you were stuck in that situation. Yes. And then I felt the back of his hand against me. It kept getting worse from there, to the point where he went under my skirt. And the pig had the nerve to write it off as an accidental brush on a crowded train. But that kind of touch wasn't accidental. He even grabbed at me. Truly awful. And I do sympathize. I've also had to turn in an abuser like that. Personally speaking, some men can't wait to debase themselves at the first opportunity. Why would you say that and look at me? <laughs> I just stood there, frozen. I couldn't see who was touching me. I had no idea what to do. Reason I laugh about that is that's a, a reference to the first game of a certain situation that happened. And I think she's referring to where he essentially convinced her to go undercover to essentially blackmail uh, a scientist or doctor by allowing him to kind of like grope her a little bit and like record it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to scream. But what if he just played it off? So I decided I would bear it till the next station. Are you okay, Mommy? I'm fine, sweetie. We're just having a bit of a grown-up talk. Are you hungry? Uh-huh. Then go read your book and wait over there for Mommy. We're almost done. It's gonna be in soon no matter what. I should keep my questions brief. So now I haven't heard any contradictions between Mamiya's account and his security footage. You said the abuse lasted the entire six minutes between Ikebukuro and Shinjuku Station. Did you see the groper's face at any time during that span? No. I was too terrified to look. A and I thought even if I did, he'd just pull away and escape. But just as the train was pulling into Shinjuku, I reached back and grabbed the hand on me. That's when I saw his face. Of course, he shook me off as the doors opened, but I'd already gotten a clear look at him. He must have known I could turn him in at that point. So he ran, and I chased after. Right. That was captured by the station's security cameras. 
great job tailing him in such a crowded space. On that note, did you ever happen to lose sight of Ahara-san while running? This cat was pretty easy to spot, and no one else was bolting off the platform like that, so I, I never lost sight of him. At that point, I could feel my voice returning, so I just screamed, that man grabbed me! I'm glad there were good Samaritans nearby. For sure. And there were a lot of smart ones out. So I figured there was no way for him to get away with it. I was so relieved. I see. I think I've got the gist of it. But now we've got a piece of evidence that contradicts what you told us. What do you mean? Yo, thank you for the alert, Karma. So, do you mom is the uh, storylines? Uh, wait. Story lines up with her testimony from the trial, but there's one thing that it contradicts. Um, shit. Is it this maybe? This is a Horus transit card. Yes, and what about it? It recorded the time Ahara passed through the ticket gate on the day of the incident. That was 7.43 a.m. on the morning of October 7th. However, the train you and Ahara boarded was the 906 departure, which means Ahara hung around at the platform for nearly an hour and a half after passing through the gate. That has nothing to do with me. How exactly does that contradict what Mamiya-san said earlier? Oh, shoot. Crap! Yeah, that, if you'll allow me to rephrase. Okay, whoopsie. Um. Hmm. <laughs> right, right. I'm trying to think what I should use. I don't know if it's going to be this or this. Let me try this one. Despite what we just went over, wouldn't you say this contradicts your account of the incident? I'm not sure what you mean. Did I say something odd? No, Yagami-san is currently the odd one here. Oh, sh if you'll allow Damn it. me to refresh. Well, shit. Uh. I don't know if it's a show or... same day at 6 30 a.m in yokohama a student teacher named hiro mikoshiba was sent off to work by his mother but he was soon abducted near his home only to be found dead much later in ijincho is that according to the video the harasan here is the murderer what he killed mikoshiba in cold blood to get vengeance for his bullied son his kid was about to graduate high school but instead he took his own life so Ahara took it upon himself to punish his son's tormentor. That's awful. But now we come back to the issue here. If this footage is authentic, then Ahara-san couldn't have been your assailant. The victim's estimated time of death and Ahara-san's time of arrival in Tokyo simply don't allow for it. It's just not possible for someone to make that commute. <sighs> but there's the flip side. If Ahara-san was in fact your assailant, it would mean this murder footage is a fabrication. I don't know what you expect me to say and do all this. Right? Now you know how we're feeling. That's why we came to see if you had any leads for us. So that's what this is about. After hearing your story, I have no doubt you endured a lot that day. Which would obviously mean that murder video was faked. Then... 
Who shared that video? And why? Wish I knew. Based on the quality, something this convincing would need quite a budget. Whether it's CG on top of real murder footage, or just a rock-solid AI creation, no way it was cheap. So why go through all this effort to fake a murder? Who would benefit from it? But I have to say, I feel much closer to piecing this puzzle together with your help today. Thank you very much for your time. All right, cool, that was it. Yes, and rest assured, this will be the last time you see us. Our apologies for the unexpected visit. And for dredging up unpleasant memories. It's fine. So long as this is really the end of it all. We shall see. I'd like to report Mamiya-san's account to the rest of the team. Can I count on you to be there? Sure. Let me give Kaito-san a heads up. All right. Then I'll see you there. Yo, me. Hey, I just got back to Kamrocho. Everything good? Any news? All good here, man. What's with you? You worried RK got to me or something? I mean, they did run their mouths about stabbing us in the back. But if you're good, I'm good. Anyway, I'm heading to Genda so Sari-san and I can go over what we learned from Mamiya. You're the boss. As for me, I'm calling it a day. <laughs> you do that. But aren't I already here? How am I going to head over there when I'm already here? That made no sense to me. What? <laughs> um, real quick though. Oh, never mind. All right, double checking. Are we ready, Yagami-san? Let's start with our visit to Mamiya-san, if that sounds reasonable to you. I'm actually invested in that one. Oh, the biker gang one? <laughs> yeah, let's start. So, the victim's story is completely in line with her court testimony, huh? That's correct. There wasn't anything new to pick up. Unfortunately. In which case, should we look into the murder video instead? Like, figure out how they made it? Yo, anime hero! Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Whether that tape's fake or real, someone had to put it online, right? Do we have any theories on who that might be? Well, the footage showed enough of the surroundings to make the crime scene clear. As somebody who's been there, I can confirm that the blood splotches match what you see in the footage. Which means... Oh, uh, real quick, enemy hero, I need to update you real quick. So, uh, because I don't know if I did, I forgot, I think I forgot to DM you. That's what it was the other day. Um, so I got some people for Smash. You know, most of, pretty much everybody's like Friday, November 5th is probably their best day. We're good to go. So, uh, I know you said Friday be good for you. So I got you and me. And then like, I think up to four more people so basically it's going to probably be roughly like six of us give or take uh, and play some smash on uh, November 5th and this should be fun times and I got Sora yeah make sure I got Sora I still need to get um, Kazuya Uh, it'll be between it'll be it'll start i'll start at 7 p.m eastern but understand if like you can't make it till later on and that's fine because i know you stream friday nights as well or you say you're gonna be playing so um if you if you want to come later on that's fine or come by i should say yeah it'll start at seven probably go to like 11 or midnight or so because i want to get i'm gonna get some fun ass matches in 
Uh, and we'll just use Discord to talk. Who we'll uploaded Ihara's murder to the internet? Uh, let's see. Who do we think uploaded it, guys? I want to say his accomplices probably did it. The murderer's accomplices have to be the ones who posted it for him. Yeah. I can't see it any other way. I also agree with Yagami-san. But in that case, what would their motive be? Maybe they wanted to make a mockery of the police, or even the whole system. Hmm? Huh? We know Ihara got himself convicted for groping, so he'd have an alibi for Mikoshiba's killing. But then, his conspirators turned it around by uploading the murder video online. Almost as if to say, look how he got away with it. I see. Yeah, that does make it sound like he's taunting them. Yes, boy! That's well and good, but I'd like to shift gears. Let's talk about the actual fabrication of the video. How does one go about that? Well, for example, the true culprit would be taped murdering Mikashiba. Then Ihara's face would be copied and blended onto the killers. That's how they'd approach it in a Hollywood movie. But then, wouldn't you be able to see traces of it being faked? Tsukumo-san reported that he's found nothing of the sort in his analysis. We've been down this road before. If we take the stance that the footage is fabricated, we have absolutely nothing to work with. Then let's tackle this from the stance that the video's actually real. If that's the case, there has to be a flaw in the groping issue. I think we've collected enough evidence to find it, too. So, what does this do for us? Once Ihara entered the Ikebukuro gates at 7.43 a.m. and stepped onto the platform, he was continuously monitored on camera. But if he really killed Mikoshiba at 7.30 like we saw, there's no way he could have reached Ikebukuro in time. That would mean the person in the footage isn't Ihara, but an impersonator. So that's not really him? Yeah. He's got the sunglasses and hat to help sell the disguise. Wait, if that's the case, after murdering Mikoshiba, wouldn't Ihara have to swap places with the stand-ins sometime before being detained? But we didn't see any opportunity for that. Multiple cameras saw Ahara move right up to Mamiya-san as they board the train in Ikebukuro. And the onboard camera recorded them for the entire commute. Not only was the act caught on tape, but his failed escape from the scene was recorded as well. Ultimately, Ahara was pinned down before leaving Mamiya-san's sight, so she had an eye on him the whole time. Right. So, the current belief is that Ihara was caught on camera the entire time he was at the station. But wait, that's not entirely accurate, is it? No, it's not. Huh? Ihara wasn't const constantly on camera between Ik Ikebukuro Station Shinjuki. And the proof is... Uh, yeah. Right, I remember you telling me about that. Yeah, dude, that sucks, man. Yeah, I remember you told me about that. Like, they just dumped all this extra work on you because of uh, your manager basically being out right now. Was it this, maybe? Take a look at this. I'm not sure why you're showing us this. There's not a sad as it may. Yeah. Which was. Hmm. Would it be here then? What do you think this evidence indicates? Ihara's transit card. That just shows he passed through the Ikebukuro station gate at 7.43 a.m. Its timestamp matches the security camera footage, so we know it's accurate. Then, if Ahara committed the murder at 7.30 a.m. in Yokohama, no way he could have made it to Ikebukuro 13 minutes later. I think we're all aware of that. Okay, hang on. Damn it! Which one is it? 
I know what was happening, but we all thought we had another month. I don't measure if I do a good job, can I have a raise? <laughs> right? Um uh... Hmm. I don't know which one it is, guys. I'm just about to guess. Take a look at this. I'm not sure why you're showing us. That is yeah. which Take a look at this. I'm not sure that it, yeah. which damn it. But this, uh, not every single thing was captured on camera. The trace inspection results. What do these have to do with it? While these were used to prove the Hara made contact with the victim, this doesn't count as visual confirmation. Unless the onboard security cameras have X-ray vision or something, there's no recording of what really occurred. That may be true, but how does that relate to Ahara swapping with his stand-in? Feels like that's where we need to make some progress in this case. Damn it. Hmm. Yeah, it has to be one of these then. Remember how we mocked up a diagram of the Shinjuku station platform? Yeah. No, oh, wait. That's it. You could be onto something. There's a point where Ahara wasn't on camera at all. What is this point you speak of? Let's all go over the diagram so that everything will be clear. Here's what I want you to see. Finally. Hey. Suspicious. <laughs> Suspicious. Hey. Aha. Uh -huh. It's very brief. But there's a moment where Ahara and Mamiya-san can't be seen by the security cameras. The dotted lines on the arrow represent the camera's blind spot. It does appear so. So you're saying this is where the groper, the fake Ahara, traded places with the real one? Can't say it's impossible, right? Right. Except if that actually happened, Mamiya-san would have been right behind them at the time. Could the two really swap places without her noticing? In a crowd like that, I think it's feasible. Hmm. If that really was Ihara's plan, then I'd say he was being careless. Careless? How? Well, on the day of the incident, the station was packed for morning rush hour. That means there was no solid guarantee the assailant could make the switch. He could have been nailed by any random passerby before reaching the blind spot. Good point. Not only that, if Mamiya-san had called for help while the train was still moving, then the first Ahara would have been caught before even reaching the platform. Oh, I mean, yeah. Called it. Hmm. Think about it, Yagami-san. Why would Ahara's accomplices meticulously plan out every last detail of this alibi, only to leave such a crucial component to chance, as Hoshino-kun pointed out? Oh, just doing my job. True. Good work, Hoshino-kun. In fact, I think that may back up my own take on it. Yeah? What if everything, including the appearance of leaving the plan to chance, was part of the plan? Can you expound on that? I'm saying I agree that such an airtight alibi wouldn't have allowed for contingencies. And that takes the question to another level. Just how far did they line up the pieces in advance to make the swap work? Are you saying there's more to it than we discussed? What did we miss? So you're on the day of the murder, including train groping, was planned from start to finish? What else can we possibly deduce? Um. Hmm. I 
I don't know if she'll be colluding with him, though. I don't know. I know this won't go over well, but what if Mamiya was colluding with Ahara all along? Huh? Bear with me. <coughs> Let's say Mamiya was in on this and knew about the imposter in advance. If that's the case, the swap could happen right in front of her and no one but the three of them would know. You're saying the victim of a groping conspired with her assailant beforehand? That's ridiculous. Let me just say, I'm only trying to work out how a swap like that would be guaranteed to work. Now, if Ahara and his stand-in both know that Mamiya will pretend not to have seen them, they can trade places in the blind spot with impunity. Conversely, if Mamiya wasn't in on the plan, the idea of a swap would never work. But we can say with certainty that she would have seen the swap, so... She could have even called attention to the real Ahara the moment he stepped in. That way, the people around her would be focused on chasing the correct assailant. The rest is as we know it. They caught Ihara and detained him until the police showed up. Hold that thought. If your theory is accurate, what about Ihara's trace evidence? Remember that fibers of the victim's underwear were detected on his hand. Well, that can also be explained by Mamiya being in on the plan. For example, while the stand-in was showing himself at the security camp, Mamiya could have easily provided Ahara access to a pair of underwear at the same time. Maybe the stand-in loitered around for so long because he was letting everyone else get themselves in place. It's not impossible. We can work out the other details later. But the point is, Ahara's murder alibi is shot if Mamiya was involved. In summary, it's possible that Hara disgraced himself to secure an unshakable alibi for Mikushiba's murder. I'll concede that it's an avenue worth pursuing. And when it comes to the prosecution, they can't just admit they got the first case so wrong. Plus, they can't question Hara about Mikushiba's murder. In fact, their only option is to claim the tape was faked. So he managed to make a farce out of the system after all. Well... His court case for his son's bullying did get more or less thrown out, didn't it? The school, the investigative committee, and the court all agreed. There wasn't enough evidence to convict anyone. No surprise for me that the guy held a grudge against the system for so long. Hold on. Before we all decide on this... What's up? The obvious question to me is why would Mamiya be party to such a crime? She appears more than financially stable. And she's even raising a child. So why would she do something so enormously risky as helping establish a murder alibi? Yeah, I haven't gotten that far yet. But maybe she was promised something that far exceeds the risk. Maybe. Or maybe Ahara has some kind of dirt on her even? Enough to make her help with a murder? What sort of secret would be big enough to force someone into that corner? A three-year-old man, patrolman and a married officer, office worker and mother. The only connection between them so far is the train station itself. What info do we have on Mamiya anyway? Maybe we can spot a connection to Ahara through her profile. I'll pull her information, just a second. Looks like I chose right. Oh, I just thought of something else those two would have guaranteed by working together. What's that? If Ahara wanted to use this crime as a murder alibi, he needed it to blow up into the public eye. But if he had chosen a victim who stayed silent, then nothing would have come of it. A solid plan would need to eliminate that variable, which means Mamiya being an accomplice was crucial to Ahara's success. That's true. Looks like Ahara pulled one over on the prosecution then. Had his accomplices right where he wanted them, even his victim. Once we learn how he's connected to Mamiya, we can root out the rest of his team. Let's see. According to her file, her maiden name is Yui Suzuki. 30 years old, so that's consistent. Originally from Ota, Tokyo. Attended a private high school called Kurakawa Academy. Later graduated from Toto University. Huh. Hmm. Met her husband on the job, apparently. 
Her husband, Taichi Mamiya, is an industrial designer at Techno Zeta Inc. Six years ago, she gave birth to their only son, Sotakun, who's now in first grade. Hold on. You said she went to Kurakawa Academy? I heard that name in Ijincho. If I recall correctly. Indeed. Dun dun dun! Um. Uh. Shit. I remember, I forget. I wasn't, I don't think I was at that school. I was at, uh, hmm. Let me see. That's not where Tsukuma went, was it? Before, you know, closing himself off to the world? Nah, tsukumo san studied remotely. He told me that when we were out having drinks one night. Wait, Tsukuma went out drinking with you? Yeah, we had fun. <laughs> what did you guys even talk about? Hey! Why am I getting grilled all of a sudden? <laughs> I agree. This is nowhere near relevant. Yagami-san, what were you saying about Kurokawa Academy? Oh, right. Um... Uh... I don't think I was at that school, though. I've been fucking at Zero High. Or wait, or was it for this fucking club shit? Didn't I just go there to investigate a bully? Or am I losing it? That Seiryu High you went to? That's what I thought. That's what it was. Why did I think they sound similar? Sorry, and Hoshino are dating, right? Uh, I think they put that on hold or something, or that stopped. I don't know. They, I don't know. Don't seem like it. When I went to scope out the murder scene, there were these three guys watching the detectives and me. They told us oh, they were snap. just checking things out. But they mentioned their Kurokawa grads too. Do you have any idea? Oh yeah, these guys. Uh, will my license work? God damn, it's been so long since I talked to these guys. Phoenix Nine. Akaike san age thirty. Mommy is thirty as well. What's that guy? <laughs> Aren't we trying to find a connection between Mamiya and Ohara? I found the Kurokawa Academy website. Looks like they're pretty prestigious. It's in Tokyo, specifically in Ota. Pretty close to where Mamiya lived. Oh. What? Yeah, it does, because I totally forgot because all the side stuff I've been doing. You little. You want to start all over from the bar exam? Wait. I've seen that uniform before, too, actually. Where? On an old picture of a teacher at Serio High, Sawasense. Hara's son confided in her. Is she actually a Kurokawa grad too? I don't know Sawasense's exact age, but she could well be 30. Maybe all of them are even classmates. Could this mean they're actually linked? The victim and her up to now unrelated assailant? It's a tenuous link at best. It could fall apart any time, but no true detective alive would pass it up. Damn right. Oh, we're finally done with this chapter after like taking so damn. I'm at 35 hours of playtime. Holy shit. Um, uh, <laughs> after taking so long with like the side stuff. Enoch's not. Hope you're doing good. And you damn right. I'm seeing riding, jet the flying, kiss stealing, wheel and dealing. Son of a gun. Groper and the victim. Charting out their relationship is akin to tracing a spider's web. But with each false thread ruled out, only the improbable truth remains. Ehara orchestrated the groping as a diversion. And by tarnishing his name, he secures both an alibi and his ultimate revenge. Man, this shit's crazy. I love it though. Converging heat. All right, we're halfway done. Or sorry, we're getting to halfway point, I should say. Because this game has 12 chapters. Hiro Mikashiba's murder was sparked by the bullying of Toshiro Ihara. 
who committed suicide four years ago. The graphic video that hit the net showed the world how Toshiro's father, Akihiro Ihara, had brutally avenged his son. We also know the father had accomplices. On October 7th at 6.30 a.m., they forced Mikoshiba into a vehicle, took him to an abandoned building, and gravely injured him. Then, around 7.30 a.m., the time frame when Ahara killed Mikoshiba, the other conspirators were probably nearby, even though they weren't on camera. At the same time, 30 kilometers away at Ikebukuro Station, a man who looks like Ihara is caught on camera. We'll call that guy the stand-in. The stand-in made sure he was in front of the cameras for more than an hour before boarding the 9.06 a.m. train, the same one Yui Mamiya was on. After committing sexual battery on that train, he meets the real Ihara in the camera's blind spot, and they change places. That's how he established a false alibi for Mikoshiba's murder. And to achieve this, the victim, Yui Mamiya, had to have been in on it from the start. Hmm. Sure are a lot of people getting their hands dirty for Ahara. Mamiya, Ahara's standing on the train, the guys who kidnapped Mikoshiba. How did some troubled cop manage to recruit so many allies? Well, one person that comes to mind who might be the key to all this is Yoko Sawa. She's a teacher at Serio High. She was the only adult Toshiro-kun ever told about the bullying, and she supervised Mikoshiba as a teacher before he disappeared. On top of that, she's a Kurokawa Academy graduate, same as Mamiya. Those trespassers at the murder scene were also from Kurokawa. Since they're all about the same age, it's possible they were all classmates. So you're saying these classmates are also Ahara's murder accomplices? If we consider Yokosawa the central link, that's very possible. We do know that as a teacher, she felt deep remorse for Toshiro Kun's suicide. Maybe she recruited her old classmates to help Ahara take his revenge. Yeah, best not to rule that out. Well, I'm hoping that's not the case. Why is that? It's just, she's a really good teacher. She's passionate, responsible. She's always putting the students first. I know she regrets the past, that a student died on her watch. And now another of her students, Mikushiba, is found murdered. So if it turns out she's involved in that, I doubt I'll be able to trust my own judge of character ever again. Yagami. Yeah, I'm going back to Ejinsho tomorrow. The plan is to bring up Mamiya's name to Sawa-sensei and see how she reacts. Until then, let's not jump to conclusions about her involvement. All right. Yo, DJ! Uh, can I chime in real quick? I was looking into Kurokawa Academy and I stumbled across something that may be relevant. What's that? Well, it happened 13 years ago, but there was an attempted suicide. Attempted suicide? The third year jumped off the school's roof after being thoroughly humiliated. <laughs> Damn, Enox9. Not blackmail though. Yo, DJ, how was your day, man? Thanks for stopping in. We're just playing some lost judgment. Styling a profile in here. You know? Trying to figure out this damn mystery. Um Also, it seems like pretty much everybody's good to go for some Smash Brothers on the 5th of November, man. Uh you, Colberg, I know said he's good. Uh Anime Hero, if he's still here, he said he's down and GS coin, he said he'd be down to play. So basically about seems like it's about six of us, including me. For that night. Maybe more if we get more people involved that decide to come in, come through. We'll see. Blue suicide from 13 years ago. Didn't saw us since they mentioned that too. Say less, I'll be there. Hell yeah. If I remember correctly, the student lived, but remains in a coma to this day. Oh, Smash Brothers, Enox 9. So I wanted to get like a Smash Brothers game night with some uh, friends, people in the community. So, because one, I just have not played that game in a long time. Two, I miss playing it. And three, it would just be great to have some casual matches with some buddies just talking shit, joking around, you know? 
Nice, man. Learn more things about LBS. Heck yeah. That's awesome, dude. Oh, count me out then. It's always fun. I know, I know. That's, that's partially why I asked you if you said that Smash Bros. or Switch the other day. You said you got rid of it. I don't understand why, though. You said you barely played it. Actually, Sawa Sensei mentioned that. She said it was a boy in her class. Right. That's got to be the same case then. The student's name was Mitsuru Kuzumoto. He's 30 now, but still in a coma. Huh, and all that info's on the net? It wouldn't be normally, but his mother happens to be vice minister of the Ministry of Health. Ever heard the name Reiko Kusamoto? Not once. I have. It was on the news. They were talking about her and her son. Wait, vice ministers rank above both government officials? This lady has quite a position of power at the Ministry of Health. Damn. Well, do you remember the uproar in the health ministry when Vice Minister Ichinose got arrested? Apparently, his successor couldn't contain the resulting chaos, which is when Kusumoto-san got tapped to lead. They couldn't afford another criminal scandal, so her promotion was out of the blue. Wow. Fall life! She was a safe choice, a veteran with tenure and experience. Not to mention, her son's tragedy made people see her as a more sympathetic figure. Very popular. She's kind of a new generation heroine, so to speak. What the? Huh. Is any of that relevant to the case at hand, though? Who knows? But Reiko Kusumoto and Ahara both have children who were bullying victims. Mm. I don't think that's a connection we can afford to overlook, if you ask me. Okay, so Kusumoto's son. What exactly happened to him? Let's see. He was bullied by a fellow third year at his school, Shinya Kawai. The records say he harassed Mitsuru-kun every day, in and out of school. Well, one time he even stuffed dirty rags in his mouth. Ew! That's so cruel. Yeah, and the teacher was a real piece of work. Apparently he knew, but he just smirked and said, don't overdo what it. What the fuck? Oh, I remember now. The media pounced on that one hard. If they were classmates, then both Sawa-sensei and Mamiya would know about this. And maybe because they couldn't save Mitsuru-kun, their guilt left them open to Ahara's persuasion. But to prove that, we'll have to hear from them directly. I'll talk to Sawa-sensei first thing tomorrow. That'd be helpful. In the meantime, I'll be working on Ahara's appeal. It's clear they missed something important in the trial, since Ahara is apparently innocent of sexual battery. Being that he was out committing murder at the time. <laughs> yeah. What started as a simple harassment case sure has blown up big. Indeed. And Salt, I'm doing good, man. How are you? Head back to the office. Actually, I might, uh, we might do some bike. Well, no, I don't think it's, uh, then again, I don't think it's going to let me do it. I forgot. I may have to progress more in the story. Doing good as well. I bet you are, guy, with your Farce Cry 6 playing self. Nope. Yeah, we can't do none of that shit. <laughs> hey, man, I couldn't help it, okay? Uh, What's the closest one? Right here, probably. And we are here. Excuse him, wah. How far did you get? Also, guys, I got, the, I have to, I forgot to mention this earlier. I have to recommend Chucky, man. Okay. For those horror fans out there and those fans of the Chucky movies, there is a Chucky TV show that's going on right, like currently it's starting the USA and I think it's sci-fi, but I think it's like being shooting on Hulu or whatever. And like once the week, episodes are once a week. Oh my God. That shit's good. I watched episode two earlier today before starting the stream. 
Ah. Uh, uh, it's, it keeps getting a little bit better and better. I saw that preview. Dude, it's good. Like, the first episode is really fucking good. The second episode I watched earlier was like, it, it was slightly less good or less impressive as the first one, but I get why they're doing Oh, thank you for the host, Bullfish, man. But I get why they're doing it. They're, they're trying to set some things up. So it wasn't at the same quality as the first episode, in my opinion. Gotcha, bro. Appreciate it. I'll have to check it out. Hell yeah. I think, yeah, I think they're on Hulu as far as the uh, episodes. Like, they'll be on, like, next day on Hulu. So it should be up to episode two. Wait, we got side cases? Hold up. We do. Wait, what the fuck? The saga continues. Ryan's rifle appears. Wait, what? It is I, Ryan Acosta, Shin Shinobi Sensation from the Shadows. It's been quite a while, Master Yagami. You may be excited to discover that I've opened up a dojo in Kamurocho. However, a rival dojo opened up soon after and began poaching my students left and right. I would, I would wish to discuss appropriate countermeasures unless I've contacted you. I shall wait you at M Side Cafe. P.S. Fair warning. I'll have a activated my chameleon camouflage technique. Just keep a sharp lookout. You'll find that my ninjutsu has brewer time. Believe it. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. Do we got do we got a karate kid thing, Cobra Kai situation going on here? Because that's what it sounds like. It sounds like we got a Cobra Kai situation versus a my my uh Ah, Mr. Miyagi. My Miyagi Dojo type thing going on here. Does he got to pound down with the knife? Cobra Kai. Never die. Indeed. Uh, I don't know. We're about to accept this, though. Okay, so I did not do this in judgment, so I was trying to figure out who the fuck Ryan was. I did not do the side case or side thing in judgment the first game. Hmm, I kind of want to go there right now if I can to see if like we can find anything. All right, let's gotta remember where the hell this cafe is. Does Chucky do what he does best in the first episode? <laughs> if my evil laugh didn't tell you enough already, sir, then yeah. That's all I like to <laughs> Motherfucker. Okay, here we go. Uh, so I gotta watch out for these guys. They are, uh... Oh, God! They are tough as shit. So, Blowfish Man, you know how you said... There are certain enemies in Yakuza 0 that if you fight them, you get like a bunch of money. I think this is something similar because this motherfucker has a sledgehammer I cannot knock out of his hands whatsoever. And he's extra tough. He's like a mini boss. He's not exactly Mr. Shakedown levels, but he is like a mini boss of sorts. And he hits hard. I'm trying to just hurry up and just grab shit and just use it against them. Oh, nice. Bye-bye. Oh, damn. I thought I was going to take him out. There we go. Yep. That's what it is. He gives you 50,000 yen. That's what it is. I love how they, like, make shit connect in these games, man. In, like, interesting subtle ways. Wait, is he not in here? 
Is this not M Cafe? Or M Side Cafe? Oh, I know. Never mind. I know. It's in here. There we go. Alright, where is this guy? Where are you, guy? Nope. <laughs> what the fuck? Really? Hey. Ceiling Ninja, or should I say Ryan? Oh. Oh. Not that they try to do a Batman. Whoa. It is I, Ryan Acosta. Shinobi sensation from the shadows. Believe it. No way. You haven't changed one bit. Of course not, Master Yagami. From controlling one's breath to conjuring fire. A modern ninja must blend both secrecy and spectacle. <laughs> Gosh, how can I ever keep up with you? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ninja art side, aside, have you been keeping well? Yeah. More or less. You seem to be doing pretty good for yourself. Is it true you've opened up a dojo? Ah, yes. In order to spread the Ryan Ninja way throughout the world, I pour my entire fortune into establishing a base here in Kamurocho. Sounds like a big step for you. But as I understand it, a rival dojo started pouncing your students? <laughs> Limit. Limitably so. You see things I've done so much to cultivate were plucked one by one leaving my garden for the future all but bare oh damn that's no good but on the brighter side doesn't that mean ninjas are getting more popular commercial having two do dojos do alone must be a sign of that right indeed since we last met i've mastered the art of video streaming very useful for disseminating ninja intel and promoting our public image yeah <laughs> In fact, before my disciples uh, subscribed to my dojo, they had first subscribed to my channel. Gotcha. Mm. Now, who's the, this rival of yours? Oh, yes, the Russian. Huh? He's Russian? You mean he's another foreigner? What is it about Japan you guys love so much? Everything. Now then, my rival is a former Spetsnaz by the name of Borch Kal Kalashnikov. Wait, so wait, this guy, this guy, Ryan's Russian, but he's a ninja. Okay. With a stature like a bear and a physique like a tiger, he is unlike any foe I've faced. Seriously? Former Spetsnaz? You mean the Russian Special Forces? Uh. It would seem so. He is known for pushing his disciples to the point of injury due to the harshness of his training. And he still gets students, huh? I don't see how brutal injuries appear. appeal. I don't see... How brutal injuries appeal to your average ninja enthusiast. That's indeed the mystery. One of my own, what do you have? One of my own was sent to infiltrate, but alas, um, his efforts proved fruitless. Hmm? One of your own. Pirates, release! Dark double ganger delusion! Huh? Whoa, what the hell? Believe it. Um... At this point, I'm not sure what to believe. <laughs> Standing before you is the last of my disciples, Master Zero Zeman Asaka. As uh, 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 at the uh, sturdy age of 78, he is my most faithful successor. 78! Huh. Sure. Though he expanded great, uh, expended great effort to infiltrate Klaus yeah, Kloshnikov's dojo, he succumbed to the trials they put him through. I've brought unbelievable shame to myself. Wait, what kind of trials are we talking here? Trials are rigorous tests. Klaus Konov, uh designed to determine a can we skill. You cannot join his dojo unless you overcome them. That is why I humbly request that you infiltrate in his stead. Hmm. Let me get this straight. You want me to go to cover at a sketchy Russian ninja school to how they stole your students? That's the episode, yes. Yeah. Well, alright. I'm game. 
You are a man of great merit, Master Yagami. Please use this to aid you on your mission. Wait, what'd you give me? A book? What? Hmm? And this is a ninja outfit. I play Japanese ninja garb designed by me. Huh? Don't tell me you want me to wear this. Of course you'll wear it. Every ninja needs proper attire. Seriously? Yeah, and I'm not a ninja. Well, once you've made up your mind, make your way to Sunrio Avenue. A reception ninja. Wait, reception ninja will be standing guard at the dojo. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. All right, let's give it a shot. All right. Let's go find out where this is. All the way over here. Nah, not enough. Wait, where is... I think I have to go here, because I don't think it's a cab that takes me there. All right, I guess we got to put on the garb. Items. Wait, what? Oh, no disguise required? Okay. Never mind. Maybe when we get there, we'll put it on. Let's see. Oh, it's right here. Excuse me. Hey there. This one be uh Kalashnikov's dojo, would it? All outsiders are forbidden. Return to your domain at once. Um. Oh, uh actually I was hoping to become your disciple. And you came not knowing the dress code? Dress code. Oh mean? you don't mean you wish to enter. Be a dress code. Fine. Not like it's one of the weirdest disguise I've worn. Here we go. All right, let's go. Excuse me. Protar confirmed. Let me pass. There we go. Looks like there's some Japanese room. Guess I shouldn't be surprised, honestly. Well, since in their get ups, it's like a bit much. Hey, how's your Mystic Dragonfire release training going? Breathing fireballs out your mouth yet? Not really. I have pretty low alcohol tolerance, so if I end up swallowing some by mistake, I get dizzy. <laughs> That's right. You'll stumble into enemy territory all drunk and get decapitated. Swing! Is this an actual ninja school or some kind of cosplay convention? Greetings, stranger. I believe we have not met yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm Yagami. We're trained to become a disciple here. I am called Fox. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Hmm? Fox? Is that really your name? It was bestowed upon me by Kloshikov Sensei himself. Think of it as a code name of sorts. Oh. Wow. Never knew ninjas had those. Look there. Our Sensei has arrived. Now what? It is time for the school motto. Motto. School motto? Just be quiet and listen. You'll have to re repeat it to, uh, yourself so you have best memorize it quickly. The heart is the sheath of our blade. When we offer ourselves to the darkness, our minds and our bodies act as one. But we have been born to die! Believe it. Believe it! Why does every ninja keep saying that? Today's announcement. 
a reception ninja has informed me a pros prospective disciple is in our midst. Ah, introductions already. Who would that be? Name yourself. Yep. I believe you're referring to me, sir. So it's you. Come forward. It's Yagami. Hello, everyone. I'm Yagami. Nice to meet you. Your count, your countenance of a right is quite striking, and your physique very disciplined. Well, I do get plenty of exercise. Do you have any prior ninja experience? No. I don't even know what that question means. <laughs> Not to worry. Uh, even I would be surprised to find an experienced practitioner in these in this day and age. Huh? All, all things considered, he seems like a decent guy. It's my great pleasure to teach people ninjutsu in the land from which it originated. Though I admit, the age in which ninja dominated the battlefield has lost its past. Excuse me. Pardon me for asking, but you're from Russia, right? What made you want to be a ninja in, the, in Japan? Glad you brought that up. You see, the Kalashnikov school of ninjutsu traces back to the Sengoku period. What the? What? No way he brought that up. Oh my god. No. No. Huh? But the Sengoku period was, what, 500 years ago? There were ninjas in Russia even then? Have you heard of the Great Ninja War that raged between the Aiga and the Koga clans? Wait, wait, Great Ninja War? Hold on, we're getting to Naruto territory right now, okay? This isn't anime. <laughs> Man and woman from opposing sides place their love for one another, despite the risks that pose. Having foreseen the wrath that would be ex exacted on them, they chose to flee together. They knew very well that in the world of ninjas, traitors are allowed no forgiveness. Thus, they fled to northern Japan and eventually into Russia. As fortune would have it, the tale did not end in tragedy, and I am but one of their descendants. No way. That's a pretty wild backstory. So, Master Abis, was it? You wish to become one of us? You will need to complete our trials. What does that mean? And what exactly are these trials? Our lessons are neither for the weak in body nor the faint of heart. They'll design a series of tests to determine your endurance and spirit. I should warn you, not even one of my Russian comrades succeeded in those trials, in these trials. And these were military men. <sighs> Dang, they're that intense? Come, and I will show you the way of a ninja. But first, I must show you are worthy. Got it. Then follow me. Okay. Um... Right. What hell is he gonna have us do? Tell me, how sturdy are your legs, Master Yagami? Huh. Pretty sturdy, I think. That's good. Sturdy so legs are ninja's foundation. Ninja's pass, ninja's required unyielding legs moving at blistering speeds to deliver information effectively. Therefore, when people thought of swift runners, a ninja would most likely naturally come to mind. Speediest of ninjas were even compared to what? Adaladin, the god of running. I I I don't I don't know how to say that. Uh, and could cover the equivalent of 200 kilometers in a single day. Are you serious? 200 kilometers. That's inhuman. For your first trial, I'll assess whether you have the speed and stamina necessary to prevail as a ninja. Yep. Okay. What I'll, what do you do? Simple. I gotta chase him. Keep chase, Master Yagami. I see. No, that I can do. Here we go. You won't get away. Oh God. No. Oh boy. Get back here. How are you this fast?
Come on. You won't get away. Rise has to try to throw it something at me. Almost got him. There we go. Simple. All right. We're like a ninja, all right, but I still caught you. Hmm. You're quick on your feet. I'll give you that. Do I pass? You're getting ahead of yourself. Are we? Look around. What? What the? When did they get here? I thought they were still back at the dojo. They simply pursued me as I ran. But they used their shinobi skills to scale the buildings and walls, always keeping the shortest possible distance. And like you, not a single one of them is out of breath. Obstacles are mere afterthoughts to a ninja. You have a point. Maximize your efficiency while expending minimal stamina. Basic ninja tenant. I see. Good to know. Now, let's begin the second trial. Come on. Come. Hey, yeah. Right. What's he going to make me do next? Excuse me. Why are we at the bar? Are we at a bar? Back. Got some food. Welcome back. What did you get, though? This is, yeah, this is a dojo side quest thing where apparently two Russians are competing. I had to chase this guy down. Now we're about to do something else. Chicken and rice. A. We're better to throw a shuriken. Um. Shuriken. Are you. I hope you're referring to darts. The mechanics are one and the same. Huh. And you're sure about that. How, wait, how is throwing darts the same as a shuriken? I'm sorry. You. I, uh, what? You hold a dart like this to throw it like that. I mean, I don't think you're normally going to throw a dart like a fucking shuriken, like, kew, kew, or whatever, fuck. Maybe like this? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Now, let's drop the commands. And hold nothing back. All right, we're going to play darts. Let's go. Let me not fuck this up. Yep. Nice. Yep. Hey, 150. Come on, you're the master guy. What are you doing? You gotta do better than that. Oh, you got one. Oh, well. One. My turn then. Nice. All right. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. I fucked up hard. Oh, no. Nice. 
He's getting close. Okay. Let me try this again. What the hell, man? Nice. There we go. Jesus Christ. All right, just 13. Oh, I fucked that up. Oh, I fucked that up. Mm. Maybe next time. My turn then. Oh shit. Okay, we still got a chance. We still got a chance. Uh oh. Okay. No, you're fine, dude. You're fine. All right. What? How did how huh? Yep. Oh my god, Just there we go. Me. Jesus Christ. On the yacht. Thank you. <sighs> All right. You've done well, Master Agami. Does that mean I'm your disciple now? How oh, naive. What does that prove? Go oh, mass, Shuriken boy. What? Do you see a difference now? That is like the true shinobi. A result of a thousand dollars per day. What? What? They made a smiley face. What? Huh? These are real ninjas too. How is this that he still has students? Right. Now let's head to the third and final trial. All right. What the hell are we doing next? Yeah. What's he gonna throw at me, guy? A cat? Cat's got a note in its collar. Excuse me. So I have just received word from one of my spies. I must admit, Master Yagami, your ruse was quite something. Even, even I wish not to believe it. Huh? What? But now that I know Ryan sent you, there is no more use for words. Ugh. Crap. Here we go. Drop that. Oh, eat foot. Yeah, you're damn right. Eat foot. What is this guy doing? Why is he all the way over there? There we go. I was trying to remove the weapon, but I was like, fuck it. Let me just use an EX on him. Ugh. He's strong. 
That's the agony. That truly was something. Oh, Blowfish Man, I meant to ask, did you ever buy the uh, Boyfriend Dungeon game? Because it was on sale. I wasn't sure if you for sure got that or not. Nice. I get to watch you play it. Let's go. Hell yeah, man. Do you think uh, I get found? You pass. Huh? Oh. Saying that's your, that was your final trial. And I'm proud to admit you as a, wait, a disciple of Goskinov School of Ninja 2? Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, I thought he knew that I'm sent by Ryan though. What? Um. But yeah, did you say I was a spy? I did. And so be it. This is how it should be. All news are spies, if you think about it. But... I mean, sure, I guess. Speed, dexterity, deception. You embody every ninja quality there is. That is more than enough to be a disciple of mine. Hey. You sure? I might end up stealing some of your coveted ninja secrets, you know? That concerns me little. Even if you do steal the secrets of our school, I doubt Master Ryan will be able to put them to use. You'll see. Wow, someone sounds confident. Come to think of it, I still haven't figured out how he put Ryan's students. Trials he put me through were pretty tough, after all. If he's train training's even tougher, honestly, what keeps people around? Ow! Why does everything have to hurt? Dude, don't don't like hit me, hit me. This guy's gonna have no endurance whatsoever. Oh my! Oh! Oh! <laughs> well, huh. I've got to get myself looking dashing. Hey there. How are you? <laughs> That's a uh, Kunochi, a female ninja. Whoa! And check out the outfit. Oh, uh, Sophia-san. Break time. There's tea and pencils waiting for you all. So let me hear a shout if you're hungry. Oh, me! I'm hungry. It's cute if she's of age, right? Right. I mean, I don't know, but yeah, she's definitely cute. Mm. Have you boys been fighting? I do hope no one, no one's hurt. We're fine. All part of our training. <laughs> wow. And my brother's so strict too. I figured as much. She had to be a sister. I fucking knew it. Why? No, it only makes sense. Why else? But she's really popular like that, dressed like that. And she's not even Japanese. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. That's this guy, the one in the black, the Russian guy. That's the sister. She might be girlfriend option. Oh, shit. And JoJo. Oh, my God. I know, right? Yeah, right. They were all ready to pass out a moment ago. Excuse me. Hey, who's she? That would be my sister. Sofia Kloskinov. She's our Kuno chief. Huh. First reception is our Kuno chief. Uh, by the way, I made everyone's favorite. Delicious Hamburg steak. Woohoo! Love Hamburg steaks. In fact, I love everything about you. Yeah, I bet you do. I bet you do, Blue Ninja. Well, tell me. Is she why Boss Off School is so popular? They shrimping hard, right? That's some sexy cosplay. As long as Sophia wields that technique, I'll never lose to a rival school, ever. No way. Well, I guess that's one mystery solved. What to make of this is yet another mystery. Russians are always the top ladies in Asia? Really? Enox 9. Interesting. I beg your pardon? Yeah. Yes. How can I help you? Well... I'd like to apply it to your dojo. On a tier list? Damn. <laughs> you would? How exciting. There's actually tears? I, yeah, I did not know. I'm learning so much from you right now. You would? How exciting. Uh, But we're pretty strict, you know. You'll have to clear some really harsh trials. Not to worry. This old goat's tougher than you think. Hmm? Brian's number one apprentice. Oh my god, a seven-year-old. Once my sister's technique gets a hold of your mind, there's no escape. That's a sexy cosplay. What a concept. 
Well, at least I made some money. And that about sums it up. Impossible. I should just abstain from worldly desires. How could Master Asaki used to fall prey to such, such schemes? Yeah, if you do go to a bar and a Russian works there, she's usually number one. Damn. Number one in what sense, though? Like, guys trying to hit on her? Or, or what? Oh, yeah, this guy's a ninja warrior, yeah. Yeah, curse you, Klausikov. Your crimes will not be forgiven. Hey. Don't tell me you're planning revenge. I do not merely plan on it. He and I will duel to death. Hey. You sure that's a good idea? Klausikov, it was in the military. He'll crush you, man. And so be it. I cannot let this insult tarnish my honor. I have the power of the heavens and it's just on my side. Hey. Hey. Fine. <sighs> Damn. All right, Dion Stein. Enough sign dropping them facts. Dropping that knowledge. Because I'll be there at the showdown. Oh, God. See, for me, though, I love Asian women, dude. It's like. Sure, there's some cute Russian women, but I mean, I love my Asian chicks. I love my Japanese. Ryan, you're really going to duel this guy? There's no other choice. I must perish alongside Master Koskov, then so be it. In death. I'll be immortalized as legend. No way. Really need to tone it down, man. Master Ryan. Ah, I see the coward has decided to show his face. Listen, I do not wish to shed another's blood. Fighting is foolish. My ancestors from five years ago knew as well from the Great Inch War. Spare me your paltry platitudes. Uh, so if I was an artist, I would draw and also to cure you since his aura is white when using a dr uh, dragon of Dojima stuff. And much was in, in a god of destruction form. What form? He has uh, purplish black aura, and when using his mad dogs out. Wow, good point. There are times where a shinobi must fight, and I'd rather my body buried than my pride. Very well. Then let us put our wor put words aside. Prepare yourself. For I will hold nothing back. Bring it on. I'll I'll toast you like mochi at. Mostly Ross. I'm mostly Ross. Brother, please! Say this nonsense at once! It's not your fight, Sophia. Stay out of this. I cannot! Oh? Who might this be? Master Ryan, I apologize for all the trouble my brother has caused. So please, won't you stay, stay your hand? Oh god, he's falling for her! Don't do it! Don't fall for the boobs! Don't fall for the legs! Or the soft skin, my guy! All right, she's pretty, but come on, man. <laughs> oh my God, he's doing it. He's falling for the titties. He's falling for the ass. Oh, he's falling for the body. <laughs> Too late, right? Not everything is worth it for the biscuit, right? I fucking knew it anyway as fuck. I'll, I'll beg on my hands and knees if I must. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Her technique, it's unstoppable. Her technique, my ass. Hmm? Right? <laughs> Master Kostakov, hmm. what is it? I decided to propose the truth. Oh my god. <laughs> of course he, of course he is. <laughs> Have you now? Yes. Were you to meet your in here, your fair sister's heart would be broken. I could not be so cruel. Then a truce it is. Her technique, my ass, yes. Oh, I mean, oh. I just had a greatest idea. What say you and I join forces with our knowledge uh, and mastery of the ninja arts combined? We can advance ninja kind. Oh my god. Now he wants to join forces because he has. He sees he has a beautiful sister and he cannot. You know, he just, he's thinking with his dick. 
<laughs> she does, dude. She basically has sexy jutsu on right now from Naruto. Oh my god. Well, that would certainly be wiser than in, in fighting. Perhaps I should have considered this approach from the start. Zariah. <laughs> yes. Do you mean it? Verily, verily, I do. As a matter of fact, I'd like you to join my dodo as a special instructor. We do us a great honor uh, and guide us along the Ryan path. I can't think of no greater honor than that. <laughs> now, I'll be able to see Sophia Sun every day and think Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> no the fuck you're not no the fuck you're not going to be thinking this of thoughts bullshit bullshit this dude is gonna be thinking other stuff the best fucking side quest i know right mm. unfortunately our fi finances are in a bit of a rut there'll be no salary and you'll need to pay monthly rent if only ninjutsu could magic money into the air i understand completely and besides your sis or uh, your school offers all the body <laughs> Sorry, sorry, that's funny. That is hilarious. <laughs> he, I thought that a lot too. He's going to try to say, and besides your sis or uh, your school, oh, he's got to clean that shit up real quick. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, offers all the bounty a ninja can need. Oh, my God. I am in your debt, Master Ryan. Didn't, didn't Kakashi like the ladies too? Not as much as Jiraiya, though. Like, Jiraiya was worse than Kakashi. <laughs> oh, what joy, Master Ryan. Can you teach me some ninja secrets, too? <laughs> Master Sophia, I would spill all my secrets to you in a heartbeat. Believe it. I bet you would. I bet you would, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it was. Oh! Hey! Freaking demon with the raid! Robbie Rogan, thank you for the follow. How you doing? How was your stream? What were you playing? Yo. Robbie, welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you. What was this case closed, as you say? What do you mean, case closed? You flat out got seduced, man. Y you misunderstand. My thought is only for the future of ninjutsu. Right. Your sis, I mean school. <laughs> Blood line, I don't know, right? Master Ryan. Oh, coming, Master Sophia. Wait, what? I wasn't even giving a raid? I'm confused. You raided me when we're giving a raid. Wait, what? Oh, okay. That's what you meant. The message. Got you. I'm possibly to me, but I must take my leave. Guess who wants to train with me today? <laughs> wow. I guess that's the end of Ryan's Ninja School. And with any luck, the beginning of a weird new romance. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna let Ryan have her. <laughs> he wants to train that meat sword. <laughs> oh shit, Swam, thank you for lurk, man. As that I was just saying, yo, what's up instead of the. Uh, out of, uh, uh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. No problem, man. I appreciate you, Demon. Oh, man. You came in like at the right end of a side case I was doing where basically 
uh this guy from the first game they messed with ryan was trying to find have hire me to figure out his rivals like secrets as far as how he's getting students and apparently the secret was he has a sexy cute as fuck sister who is dressed up in like a ninja female ninja outfit and seduces men yeah i know yeah right bro right all right well we got that done uh that was hilarious though hmm don't want that or i want this <laughs> I bet you would. I bet you would. What's this? Oh, what the fuck? Why would I do that? Has to be Shadow Clone, dude. <laughs> Facts. Oh, God. I, I messed up. Hold on. So we do the main. Um, we still got this to figure out. Um, we gotta get no Emily some more apparently. I don't think we can do any of this stuff yet. Nope, we're still fucked up there. Uh, shit, I guess main then. Cause I don't know where we're gonna be able to do this unless this is at nighttime. We can check it out. We can try to check it out at nighttime. And see. Wait, where is it? Wait a minute, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, Blowfish, you missed it earlier, dude, because I was trying to uh, let you know this game has uh, something from Yakuza 0. You know how you were telling me about uh, certain enemies you fight in Yakuza 0 that give you extra money? This game has the same shit. It didn't have it in the first game, but it got it in here now. Yeah, so there's this dude that used to carry a sledgehammer, a big fat dude. And he's like in a gold suit. And every time you defeat him, he gives you like 50k in yen. This guy wants to fight me. Eat the foot. And stay down. All right, I'm still trying to figure this shit out because Kathy Alps is in the back. It won't let me go use the elevator. It won't let me in here. Yeah, I'm so confused by the side quest. Ah, screw it. Let me go back to the office. Oh, sick, everybody. Oh, Bullfish Man, have you checked out the site, any of the sites I gave you yet to, like, apply for game keys? Yeah, dude, uh, check it out. The, the main two that I have so far lo like, logged into and checked out is, um, hold on. Uh, let me pull it up. Rainmaker.gg. So that's the, that's the first one I messed with and I applied to try and get Guardians of the Galaxy. And then the second one was Wolfit.com. Keymailer, I haven't like messed with yet. But the first two though, those seem pretty good so far.
Wait a minute. What? Yo, you took your sweet time. But I got the gist of it. You're going to Ijincho, right? To meet with Sawa Sensei. Oh god, here he goes. Kaito-san, you do realize that only I can meet her. You can't get into the school. I know, but if you end up taking it off campus, can you at least call me this time? Don't you understand the situation? Sawa Sensei might be tied to murder. <laughs> you sure you understand it? Come on, she would never do that. That a fact? So happens I'm a great judge of character. Especially when it comes to women. Ah, oh, sometimes I forget who I'm talking to. <laughs> Wait, really, Demon? I love Kaito. Right. Kaito's great. All right, so we head to a G show. Uh, let's see if we can pick up something else here. Okay, I gotta do that stuff first. All right. Let's head on out. We should be going directly to the school or not. Stop. It's gotta be Chinatown. Can't face Sukumo on an empty stomach. Never a dull day for you, huh, Kaito san? It's a selection, man. I've already worked out the math. I figure if I hit four or five places a day. What? What's up? Check that out. It's Akutsu. Kamurocha thugs are looking pretty out of place here. Yo! Akutsu! What are you fools doing in town? Hey, don't ignore me. It's Kaito. Fancy seeing you here. I'm kind of busy here, man. Catch you later. <laughs> what an asshole. Ichincho's a long way from home. And he's traveling with a small army. Would he have come all this way because of us? Nah, we just caught him totally off guard. He's not out here for us. Gotta be something else. But something's not right if they're just cruising around. Hmm. It's gotta be an RK operation. He brought too many guys for it to be something more personal. Yeah. <laughs> Kamurocho streets can be tough. Maybe they gave up. Hmm. Well... Whatever they came out here to do, we ought to keep our noses the hell out of their business. But you better hustle. You're going to be late for class. I'll catch you after school. All right. Yep, going to the high school. See what we can find out from her. Uh, where's she at? Wait, would she be on the, uh... Second floor? No, I'm trying to remember the faculty lounge. Want to say a second floor? I could be wrong, though. Never mind, I was right. True, true. Oh, uh, what is it, Yagami-san? Sensei, do you have a minute? I saw the video of Mikoshiba-kun. So you did. That video, right? I thought Ehara-san was convicted for a sex offense. How could he be in that video killing Mikoshiba-kun? And that video looked so real. Most likely it is. 
As you unfortunately had to witness, the Harasan committed murder with his own two hands. Which means as far as the groping that day goes, there's some deception at work. A uh, deception? Are you familiar with the Harasan's victim in the case? Her name is Yui Mamiya. I don't think I recognized her, no. Thirteen years ago, she attended Kurokawa Academy. Her maiden name is Yui Suzuki. Yui Suzuki? Just a minute. Are you saying she was the one Ehara-san groped? So you do know her then? Were you two classmates? We were, in our third year of high school. I had a hunch. You didn't know she was the victim of that whole incident? I mean, no problem, man. it's just so hard to believe. Does this all seem like a wild coincidence to you then? Your old student's father gropes one of your high school classmates at a station with three million daily travelers. What are you implying? I'm saying your old friend Yui might be cooperating with the Harasan, as in she only played the part of a victim. She might have even known it was all to hide a murder. What? But why? Why would she do that for him? She really doesn't seem to know any of any connection between Ihara and Mamiya. Yeah. If this is all an act, then she's an amazing actress. <laughs> yep, good point. I don't know. From where I'm sitting, Sensei, you're connected to Ahara and Yui Mamiya. I just need your help figuring out what that connection is. Yagami-san, please. Are you implying I was some kind of liaison between them? Well, Sensei. What was your relationship with Yui Mamiya? Were you close? Or would you say classmates covers it? The two of us were never really that close. To be honest, I didn't really like the group of kids she hung out with. Love, huh? Maybe. We didn't have the same interests. When was the last time you saw her? Did you have a high school reunion by any chance? They held a reunion around the time I graduated from college. But I didn't feel like going. That same class bullied a kid into jumping off the roof. So if that's the case, you haven't seen any of your classmates since you all graduated from Kurokawa? That's right. Okay, then. The thing is, Ahara-san and Mamiya are connected. It is kind of loose, but it's there. They have one thing in common. What? In both of their pasts, someone they knew was bullied to the point of attempting or committing suicide. Ahara-san lost his son, Toshirokun. And as for Yui Mamiya, it's her classmate, Mitsuru Kusumoto. That could be a factor, especially for Mamiya. It's possible that Ahara-san would be a sympathetic figure to her. Maybe enough to help construct an alibi for his revenge. It's possible she only played the part of a groping victim. What do you think? Does it have any merit, or is my theory full of holes? Even if you're on the right track, um, Sawa-sensei? We're just waiting on you to start the staff meeting. Oh, sorry, I'll be right there. What happened 13 years ago at Kurokawa? That might be the last piece of the puzzle. What about Yui Mamiya? How'd she react when Mitsuru Kusumoto tried to kill himself by jumping off that roof? I'm sorry, I'm already late for my meeting. I'm trying to ask you about a murder here. To Ahara, every unanswered question is a victory for that man. He's only a step away from walking for it. And I know Mamiya had other conspirators. It took more than one person to murder Mikoshiba. They're still at large, even as we speak. I'll be honest. I came here today with a suspicion that you might be more involved in this murder than you're letting on. A suspicion? Nothing you've said has made me feel any better about it. And what should I do about that, huh? <laughs> I just want you to tell me. How are Ahara-san and Mamiya connected beyond what I've already figured out? I think you have the key to that answer, even if you don't know that you're the one holding it. It's like a lock, and until I figure out how to get through it, I'm going to keep picking at it. I told you, I'm late for a meeting. I'll be here when you get back. Have a good meeting. <sighs> Suit yourself. Hell yeah, man. I love these games, dude. It's not going great, but at least I've learned she was classmates with... Mommy, yeah. <coughs> I think the wind's where I can get him. So if someone wants to hear about that later, too. <coughs> Enox 9 is always talking about resorting to blackmail. This guy. <laughs> I know not to fuck with you. 
Excuse me, shit. Come on. Okay. But yeah, I was going to tell sorry son about Sawa Sensei and Omiya. Hey, sorry son, it's Yagami. Hey, did you manage to talk to Sawa Sensei? Yeah, turns out she really was in Mamiya's class. And they were both aware of the suicide incident with their classmate. Good to know. While we're on the topic, Hoshino-kun got his hands on some new info. Let's hear it. The bully at Kurokawa High was named Shinya Kawai. He transferred out right after Mitsuru-kun jumped, as if he were running away. Once he came of age, it looks like he worked here in Kamurocho. Wow. You really can find a lot online. Yes, and to top it off, Kawai earned a reputation for talking about how he drove a classmate to suicide. Like he's proud of it. Maybe he thought he'd get a laugh in Kamurocho. Probably would. So I was more or less a Yakuza, though he never swore into it. I just sent you his picture. It was taken five years ago. <laughs> what? This guy? You recognize him? Not too long ago, some RK punks came asking his whereabouts. Said he was a girls bar manager who went missing. Yeah, it looks like he did work at a girl's bar, but we don't know which one. Okay, so the guy's definitely suspicious. What business would RK have with him? Do you know if they ever found him? No, but their leader, Soma, said something about Kawai having already been killed. Like he just vanished from Kamurocho a few years ago, and that was it. Wait, he was killed? Uh-huh. Kind of gives me deja vu now that I think about it. Here you have Kawai and Mikoshima, two known school bullies. And they both end up murder victims? That could be for a number of reasons. It's not rare for people to disappear in Kamurocho. Usually the trouble is money or women. Maybe that was the case for Kawai. Maybe. Could be. Okay. We'll investigate Kawai a bit more on our end. With RK asking around, word on the street will be loud enough to hear. Interesting. Didn't even cop. I played three hours. Hey, man, be like that. Games, uh, if we're playing the games and having fun, I'm goes by. How was it, sorry, son? What did Yagami san have to say? He said he recently ran into some RK members looking for Shinya Kawai. Did he? He also said RK later told him Kawai had been killed. Hmm. This is getting scarier with every new lead. Now that you mention it, I have seen people getting stopped and asked about someone all over town. But if those were RK on the hunt for Kawhi, could it have something to do with our case as well? Who saw the connection between Yushiba and Kawhi? Uh, why is RK suddenly so involved, right? I'm honestly not sure how RK could be involved in all this. I'm going out for a bit, Hoshino-kun. Do me a favor and keep digging up what you can on Kawhi. Wait, what? Sometimes you have to get out in the field. It can't just be Yagami-san all the time. Wait, what? I'm playing as her? No way. Um, does she even know Kung Fu? <laughs> you don't mean you're going straight to RK for some answers? What else would I be doing? I need to know why they were looking for Kawai. Then I'm coming with. I can't just let you do that alone. Don't worry. It's still light out, and I plan on staying in the open. Besides, if I'm alone, they'll be more eager to talk. That may be, but still, I'll just call you about every ten minutes then. For your safety. I find that rather unnecessary. You sure? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is interesting. Oh, great. Oh, we're going to tender? So, sweetheart, Hoshino is, right? Bartender. 
The first place y'all can be stopped worked at when you ride in the city. Owner Joe Masuda always has his ear to the ground. So I'm sure I could ask him where I might meet some of the arcade members. Damn, I haven't been here since the first game. I wonder if I'd ever come back here. Oh, is that Sari Chan I see? To what do I owe this pleasure? Nice to see you too. Oh, hi. Say, aren't you one of Talk's lawyer friends? Does that mean he's on his way too? It's just me today. <sighs> Fine by me. That means you and I get some girl talk time. Oh, that stings, Mari. And here I thought I had a place in your heart. <laughs> well, no one knows. I mean, you're not lying. Tender. I guess you can stay. So keep up with each other. But if I'm going to ask questions, I better order a drink. Let's see. All these bottles got you feeling lost? Care for a few pours from Tox? It'll be our secret. Besides, a man with his tab can't complain. <laughs> You're too kind. So I'm actually here to ask you, how can I set up a meeting with RK? Darn. So this wasn't a pleasure call? Well, I'm glad you're at least enjoying your drink. True. And looking fancy doing it. Oh, please. You two are going to embarrass me. My apologies. I suppose being surrounded by such beauties has a timeless appeal, even at my age. I'll second that. Masuda here is looking at least a year younger. <laughs> Was that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> of course. If you got any younger, you'd be much too handsome. What's a girl to say? And I'll second that. <laughs> <laughs> True. This is good. I'm getting to so relax. I might forget about work. Uh oh. Anyhow, if you're after an RK rendezvous, the good news is those guys are everywhere. But it's not like a civilian can just stroll up and ask, "Hey, are you RK?" and expect to get an answer. I mean, I wasn't worried about getting snatched. You got that right. And Sauri Chan needs to ask them something that's kind of sensitive. Oh, that's certainly going to make things challenging. Just a bit, yeah. So I say, why not let the boys do the chasing? Wouldn't be hard for an enchantress like you. But honey, we need to do something about your look. Some nice clothes and a little makeup, and you'd be unstoppable. Here we go again. Finally, my turn to second something. I suppose I would need to look approachable. Talk told me once that if you ever felt like it, Sauri Chan, you could put every hostess in Kamrojo to shame. I've got to admit, I'm curious. Well, a good hawk hides her talents. You're saying I should dress like a hostess for this? <laughs> well, I'm sure there are other ways. But if you want a foolproof plan to snag an RK, you've got one. Well, if you want, I can get you some looks. And you can choose what you like. I get the message, and I suppose I'll take you up on that. Okay, then leave the rest to me. Look, look, I, I knocked not, all right? I'm not about to get snatched, okay? It's the same shot to do from the first game, all right? Uh, and sorry, son had to be all dressed up, <clears throat> all dolled up. <clears throat> and Buffus, man, she is attractive. She's a beautiful woman, you know. Personality-wise, though, I just, I just, mm, I'm cool. Like, I don't know. I just can't get what her personality was in terms of, like, how she is. This is, like, really weird. <laughs> True. She is about that business.
We're getting all kinds of shit. Don't mind me, chat. Hair. Fuck it, we're going with this. Oh my god, get that up. Damn. <laughs> Edox 9, what do you take me for? <laughs> it's fucked up, bro. <laughs> yes. I have played Heavy Rain multiple times. When I'm originally on PS3, I owned it on PS4. she kick some ass though i thought she kicked some ass at least a little bit i don't know i i i yeah i know i know oh they definitely got spicy and we're getting spicy in here all right, let's do this shit. Oh, well, would you look at that? Doc was right on the money. I couldn't have imagined. Are you sure about that, Marisan? I hardly feel comfortable wearing this in front of you. What are you saying? You're so pretty. I wouldn't say so. Really? You're dynamite. <laughs> Though, there is one thing that's missing. What's that? Pride. That's the final touch you need. Pride in your own beauty. Well, I I'm not sure I have that. Then, how about your pride as a lawyer? You have that, don't you? As a lawyer? Yes, there it is. Go ahead and take a look. Now that's the face of the girl who gets the man she wants. It's been a while since I've felt this way. I have you to thank for that. <laughs> These bad boys won't know what hit them. Now, let's go dangle the bait. You mean us, right? You bet. Two nightlife girls like us alone on the street literally brings the RK boys running, especially along Senrio Avenue. Why don't we take a walk? Uh, are you sure? I, I don't want to drag you into this. <laughs> what? I knocked nine. What? And miss the chance to see this makeover in action? But really, I want you to succeed. I promise I won't be a bother. Don't walk down Siro Avenue. If any arcade guys support this, we'll reel them in. Ask them about Senya Kawa. Let's see what they found out so far. <laughs> I'm good at what I do. All right. Mike the manager. 
I, you could probably attribute that to. So, so here's an uh, interesting thing. Of fun, I don't know if it's a fun fact or not about me, but basically, you know, as a kid growing up, I watched you know a lot of movies, TV shows, etc. Right, and so and quite a bit of those, not a lot of them, you know, were betray women usually in a certain way, like this, where they're like girly, feminine, you know, but also badasses too. It's obviously, sometimes damsel in distress, as you know, but you know, my thing is like. I grew up thinking that's how a woman's supposed to look, you know, carry herself. Confident, strong, but beautiful, elegant, you know, shit like that. Man, Mike, you'd kill it dressing up the ladies in a cabaret club. I mean, probably, yeah. Now, I love a girly feminine woman, so like, Look at that, see what I like, you know? You, uh, get lost on the way to the beauty pageant? Rory out for a drink? Maybe heading to work somewhere in town? Oh, we're just two girls bar hopping by our lonesome. Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, in that case, why don't you roll with us? I know a great place. You can drink all you want. Wow, you guys loaded or something? We can throw them back, you know. You sure? Hell yeah. There's a place my buddy runs. He'll be thrilled to see some ladies like I you. I bet. Okay, that might be good to take them up on offer, but how can I know for sure? Um. Let's be real here. You're okay, aren't you? What makes you say that? Yeah. What kind of chick straight up asks if you're in a gang? Come on, it was just an innocent question. Besides, everyone already knows. Anyone worth a damn in this city's gotta be RK. And when you spot one, you just... How should I say it? There's a certain vibe to you guys, yep. you know? True. Guess we do got that RK swag. I mean, yeah. We're just out here playing the game, you know? <laughs> and we ain't bad at it either. You gotta have a brain to work this town. So, if you ladies gotta choose, choose us. We know how to get ours. Hell yeah. You boys certainly talk a good game. RK knows what's up, huh? <laughs> right? You must be pretty high up the RK ladder then, huh? Not just local chumps? Not supposed to be blurting it out, but yeah. We're RK. And pretty high up, too. <laughs> right! RK wouldn't be what it is now without us. Never thought it'd get this big, either. Hell yeah. RK has Comrocho pretty much wrapped around its finger now, huh? Just about. The time of the Yakuza laying down the law is over. All that respect and chivalry shit. Dead, like all the old legends. Now the underground world is a jungle. And winning the fight's all that matters. Wow, must be hard. But I think that's hard. So real quick, Blowfish Man. Um... Anybody else in chat that's either played Yakuza 7 or know about it or whatever. So this is why I said what I said earlier in your stream. Because of how things in Yakuza 0 were between the Omni Alliance, Tojo Clan, and all the other shits, right? And it was crazy how they end up without dropping spoilers. Because the line he just said about how like the you know old legends from the yakuza everything like that all that shivery shit and all that stuff is dead <clears throat> try not to say nothing too much about spoiling it but there's a reason why he says that if you if you maybe have not been paying attention as far as to allude to what's happened to the yakuza in this universe right now um uh, so yeah <laughs> there's there's this, let's just say there's something that happens to him 
Huh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because you notice how there was Yakuza in the first game, but there's not any Yakuza in this one, really. That reminds me. Weren't you RK guys looking for someone recently? A man who disappeared a few years ago? Oh, yeah. Him. We were looking for this dude who ran a girl's bar. See? I knew you guys would know what that's about. Oh, <laughs> well, five years ago, he suddenly disappeared. That's not even news in Kamala Joe. That's so crazy, though. What happened to him? You ever end up finding the guy? Nah, didn't work out. No surprise, he was just a punk anyway. His name was Kawhi. The way I heard it, some of his old friends rolled up on him one night. My guess is, it was trouble from another town catching up to him. Anyway, they argue for a bit. It ends with the guy getting shoved into a van. And that's the last <laughs> time anyone saw the dude. Whoa. What do you think happened? Yeah. I'm thinking they bumped him off. If he was still breathing, he'd be back by now. I heard he never even picked up his final page. I really... Bullfish man, I laugh internally. I didn't laugh as much as you, but I would love... I would love... If a Majima cameo happened in this game. Or cure you. But I know it's not going to happen. Check. My guess, he's fish food now. Or they buried him on some remote ass mountain. You have any idea who would have done that to him? Don't know. They say it was ten or so people. Young. Both men and women. Doesn't sound like a gang thing. But who knows, right? was five years ago. You still want them to go to L.A.? Who <laughs> shoved Kawav into a van and they were old acquaintances? Could they have been the classmates from Kawav Academy? No, I'm just rushing to conclusions. But if you heard all that, there must have been witnesses, right? So you're saying someone actually saw him get shoved in a van? Yep. Some chick working at his bar saw it all go down. At least that's what we heard from a guy who heard it from that chick. Where is this bar anyway? You mean some random dive bar half a decade ago? Who the hell knows? A hundred places have sprung up and gone under since. But then, why would anyone be looking for Shinya Kawai now? Did someone ask RK to find him? Think that's right? Hell if I know. A question for the top of the food chain. But hold on a sec. Can I ask you something? Huh? <laughs> Just a minute ago, you mentioned a Shinya Kawai. How'd you know his full name when we never told oh, you? Oh, fuck. Oh, oh fuck. You're only talking to us because you wanted dirt on Kawai. So who the hell are you? What do you think you're doing? Who sent you? <laughs> he knocks nine with the snatching. <laughs> Call it. <laughs> oh my god. No one. I I'm just an arcade pen girl. Don't jump to conclusions. Oh god. So, would you stop? Really? Yeah, my bad. Guess you don't really look suspicious. You fucking moron! Don't you realize he's playing? <laughs> uh, he's right. No charming your way out of this one. Start talking or else. Damn it, almost fooled him. Uh. I wouldn't even give you my name. Now let go. Threats and violence aren't going to work on me. Oh, what have we here? Got ourselves a bad bitch all of a sudden. <laughs> Too bad she can't keep her hand from shaking. <laughs> That's just the excitement talking. Big talk for a chick dressed to the nines to get info. Huh? Sorry, Chan? Yeah. You even try to fuck with us, lady! Sorry, Chan! Huh? What the- Oh, who's this? Beat it, punk. 
Oh! Agassi! Let's go! I swear, these jerks are popping up like roaches. Um. No thanks needed. Just be careful on your own. Especially when you're beautiful. Thank you so much, Higashi-san. I just said you don't... Wait. How'd you know my name? <laughs> he doesn't realize who it is. It's me, Shirosaki. From Genda Law Office. It's been a while. Holy shit! No way! Man, I didn't realize. Shirosaki-sensei. I didn't recognize you. Look incredible. <laughs> right, yes, coin. <laughs> You're the one who is incredible. <laughs> Bulbous man. This is all my fault. I was the one who put Marisan in danger. You really saved us. <gasps> Young, strong, handsome. That's three out of three for me. Those guys were RK. Town's practically overrun with them these days. Hold on, I'm trying to look up the voice actor who plays this guy. Steve Blum. I sounds familiar. <laughs> because I swear this guy sounds like Wolverine from the 90s uh, X-Men anime. I mean, uh, cartoon. And if so, he's one of my favorite voice actors because, man, he fucking, like... His voice, when it comes to like being the first one I heard, that's Wolverine. It's like stuck me, and I feel like no one else compares to his voice as Wolverine. If this is the case, um, yup, yup, he is. Holy shit. Holy shit, man. Oh, I'm worth to talk about him some more, Blowfish, on uh, Saturday. Yes, he is Wolverine. He's been he's been a Wolverine. Multiple product or productions as Wolverine. Oh, my God. He sounds so good as Wolverine. Like, he's a great Wolverine voice actor. And then he's been in Star Wars Rebels. He's been in Cowboy Bebop. He's Spike. Spiegel from Cowboy Bebop. Uh, Zeb. Star Wars Rebels, Mugen, and Samurai Temple. Mm. Yes, he did. He's voice, he voiced Wolverine in a 90s cartoon and other versions that uh, other iterations or productions of Wolverine and other stuff. Stuffy! Dude, yes, he's a legend. One of my favorite voice actors. Uh, this had to be sure that was him. Cause he's been other in other stuff too. And that wow, man, it's still working. Oh, it's going good stuff. You we were laughing. We we're having a good time making jokes. Oh, stuff you missed it. Oh my god, I would have. I wish I would have got your or your reaction earlier to the side case we did. Yes, he's also Sub Zero. Yes. He is definitely also sub zero. That was another thing. I was like, wait, he sounds familiar. So there's a side case where there's this ninja. He's your main, and DD is he's my main. That's my boy. See Blue Man. My boy. Um, there's a side case where there's this ninja master Ryan who basically hired me to go into cover for this rival dojo. And long story short, uh, cause the whole reason he had me go into cover is to try and find the secret of why this other dude stealing his students and apparently it's because the guy who's the master of the rival dojo has a hot beautiful sister dressed in like female ninja cosplay and he uses it to his advantage to seduce his uh students and attract more students to come in <laughs> and then and so yakimi comes back to him and is like yo this is what's going on or whatever and dude's like well the Ugh, this is nonsense where this is ridiculous. I'm having a, uh, a fight to the death or whatever. All right. So him and the rival dude that's got the hot sister, right? They meet up in the alley with Yagami and someone having death, right? The hot sister shows up and 
immediately dude falls for it. Bullfish man called it, called it anime as fuck. Legit anime as fuck. Because we're like, dude, no, don't fall for it, okay? Don't fall for the boobs, don't fall for the legs, don't fall for the titties and ass. Nope, he fell for it. <laughs> just he's smart, and like, he just fell for it, and next thing you know, he's all trying to make peace and be cool, so he can basically, you know, see his rival's hot sister at the dojo on a daily basis. <laughs> Poor man wasn't ready. <laughs> Facts. He's, oh shit! But it, that was like one of the funniest things that happened earlier in the stream. Oh my god! And I would have loved to get your reaction to that shit when it for was happening. Like, Bullfish Man, Inox Nine. I think a few of people were just like the way they reacted was so good. Oh my god! He run he runs his, his arcade full time now, but apparently he still keeps up with Yakuza's fashion trends. Yes, he does. If you'd like, I can escort you somewhere safe. I got nothing but time on my hands. Oh, you don't say. Perfect. Who says we can't still salvage some fun out of tonight? Oh, uh, before we do that, let me call Yagami-san. I understand. Naps were good. Man's bout it. Fuck. Fuck yeah. Only 13 years ago, he vanished from commercial when he was stuck by a group in a van. Seems like, uh, they were all about... To all people he knew and possibly they were his classmates from Kurokawa Academy. Yagami's still a jackass, I see. When Shirosaki Sensei calls, you pick up in two rings. It is strange that he's not picking up. I'll try again. Hagashi is the man, though. I like him. Call him jackass facts. Wait, he was killed? Uh huh. Kind of gives me deja vu now that I think about it. Here you have Kawaii and Mikoshima, two known school bullies, and they both end up murder victims? That could be for a number of reasons. It's not rare for people to disappear in Kamurocho. Usually the trouble is money or women. Maybe that was the case for Kawaii. Could be. Okay. We'll investigate Kawaii a bit more on our end. With RK asking around, word on the street will be loud enough to hear. All right, thanks. Now I guess I wait for Sara Sensei. Still a lot of time before uh, the faculty meeting ends. Gotcha. Oh, guys, quick, real quick. If you do not know, uh, double check your Epic Game Store for you PC gamers out there. Uh, you should have a $10 coupon either in your uh, account or you need to go sign up for like getting like email or whatever from Epic Store to get it because there is a Halloween sale going on right now on Epic Store and even if like you got like a little bit of money you say 10 bucks on something in the case there's something you want I start on the 18th in case you don't know I forget I want to make sure I mentioned that stuff uh, I thought about as soon as stuff it came in because I know she's mainly a PC gamer new Epic Store yes Away! <laughs> All right. I gotta go to the MRC in the evening. I gotta kill some time. What? What's up with this? girl doing out here by herself hope she's all right hey is everything okay are you looking for something oh no i was just looking at the squirrel adorable isn't it what mm -hmm. squirrel squirrels just want to have fun i i like how it's a play on words of girls want to have fun instead of girls it's squirrel kinky <laughs> uh Examine it if you copy what's going what's it doing it made find hidden treasure. Hidden treasure ah. Street art? Uh why a squirrel though? It's supposed to be represent something? This is unexpected. What are you doing out here? Mm -hmm. Huh? What the I'm a sour. Oh hey, I was looking at some street art. You know what this is from? 
It's too good to be random. Gra graffiti. How peculiar. How peculiar. Yeah. I feel like. I know this from somewhere. Maybe a famous graffiti artist did it? No. That's not it. I think I remember this from childhood. That's it. It's from a picture book I used to read all the time. Picture mm -hmm. book. Yes. It featured all these uh, forest critters doing different poses. And as a kid, you were supposed to imitate them. So if you copy the squirrel performing a greeting or lying uh, down for a nap, you'd be learning good behaviors all along, along the way. Okay. And if you did them well, you'd get a reward like an acorn, at least according to the book. Oh. I see. So it's like uh, an educational tool. But why would something from a children's book be painted out here? That's the big question, isn't it? Um, do you think we get rewarded if we copy the squirrel right here? <laughs> That's a cute idea. Let's pretend we're in a picture book and find out. Oh, sorry. Ah, sorry. You gotta watch out, chat. Ah, my sneezes are. Uh, they're, they're they're crazy. They're intense. Hmm. Let me think. Did you say a dukin? Yes. That's what I do when I sneeze on stream. All right. I sneeze hadoukins. Okay, it's a thing. Sorry. All right. <laughs> I was so focused on the epic store, I got startled. <laughs> I'm trying to hear something. And if we stand still and stay quiet. Will we get a reward? What? At least we can try to find and find out. I don't hear anything. Well, duh, we're playing make believe, you know. I think I did hear something. Really? Wonder what? I was play along. But I got just a thing to amp up my hearing. All right, what we got? Okay. Damn, nice. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Turn it on. I heard a faint noise, and when I check it out, found this. Squirrel was hiding the uh, treasure. Seriously? I guess so. By the way, there are more squirrels than just this one, and they're doing all sorts of different things. Really? Yep. There's one on a wall on a store over there. Huh. Mm -hmm. Never notice, or if I did, I dismiss as some juvenile attempt at self-expression. Could this possibly be a new mystery? I suppose you could consider it a mystery in the broadcast. I'm oh, sorry, broadest possible sense. Sure or not, I'm, it might be fun to keep a lookout for these squirrels. All right, got it. <laughs> uh, firing all cylinders. I gotta go home and find that picture book. Yeah. You do that. In the meantime, I'll see what I can find out on my end. Good to see you later. Great. All right. Cool. Yeah. Feel like she took off. Yep. Well, she gets uh, sets her sights on something. There's really no stopping her. We have to do the same and find more squirrels. My name's uh, Budba. Budba. Thanks for your help today. Yeah, I'm not gonna pronounce that last name. I'm gonna butcher it. Well, aren't you polite? My name's Takuyuki Yagmi. Nice to meet you, Takuyuki san Bye bye, net for now. Wait, was this the way to that other squirrel? <laughs> they work on my directions. Watch out for cars, okay? All right. Guess I'm looking for squirrels from now on. That's over it, of course. Wow. Wow. Uh. All right. So, are they not going to show up on the map? Weird. Well, we do got to kill some time. Um, let me double check something here.
Damn, I don't have enough. Uh, let's see. We gotta go here in the evening. We could do step by step. I think we'll do step by step. Girlfriend activity type of thing. Red light district, here I come. Fight me to be over now. What the hell? Well, never mind. <sighs> Head to the faculty room. Yeah, stuck. I was trying to think what I want to get on an Epic Game Store too. I don't know what I want though. It's like cheap. Apparently not. Pardon me. Did you have business with Sawa Sensei? Yeah, the faculty meeting's over, right? It just wrapped up. But Sawa Sensei went home in the middle of it, about an hour ago. That's fair. What? Apparently, she got a call from her apartment manager saying her place was broken into. Broken into? She told me to tell you that if you came around. Okay, then. Do you think you could give me her contact info or something? No, I don't think I can. Oh, I'll just give her a quick call. One moment. What game is that, by the way, Stuffy? What's it called? No, she's not answering. They're probably busy. But I guess she's home then? I'd say so. Her place is within walking distance. Oh, nice. Is? Sawa Sensei lives in Ijincho? I still gotta play the first game. I own it on console. I really shouldn't be giving that kind of info out. Sure, I appreciate the need for privacy. You've been a big help. Yeah, I, it's crazy. Like, I've seen gameplay of Darkest Dungeon quite a bit. I own it. If you have to stream it, I want to stream it. Um, I didn't realize it was like a turn based RPG, like roguelike, though. I thought I actually had an actual story, but I guess not. I don't know. Well, maybe it does. Um,. And like it made me excited for part two, you know I haven't played the first one yet, and I think I got a DLC for part part one as well. The game is intense. Yeah, like I've seen crazy shit like where they it does certain things that no RPG does. Like, for example, like your characters get scared. I think one can get like an illness or disease. That's you know stuff like that that really happen to other turn based RPGs. Um, on top of one bleeding, um, uh, or being poisoned, other shit. Yup, punish you really hard for mistakes. Yup, yup. Hmm, yeah, part broken into, yeah. I don't think I should let this go, though. I wonder if there's anyone who can tell me so since he's dressed. Yeah, I wonder what the price of that, though. Actually, matter of fact, is there no price? Let me double check. Darkest Dungeon 2. Price. Damn it. Google. You're supposed to have the answers, Google. You're supposed to. Well, hopefully it's like not more than 25 bucks. Like hopefully it's like a Hades price, you know, 25 bucks at the most. 
15 to 20 maybe minimum. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Damn, Goku, you have one job. Facts. Uh... All right, so we got to figure out her address. Hmm, who might know her home address? Is there no one in here? Who could possibly know her home address though? Whoa! Let's go! Thank you for the raid! Yo, how's it going, man? What'd you play, giant enemy crap? Okay, where is someone I can talk to? Uh, you'd think it'd be the faculty room. You would think. Actually, you know what? Let me see if there's a hint in uh Hmm decently high position. Decently high position. Possibly the chairman? You'd think this lady would, but no. Nobody wants to help me. Hmm. I'm guessing the chairman's office. Third floor chairman's office. That's all I can think of. And that's if he's even there. He is. Oh, well, do you think you could tell me Sawa Sensei's address? Come again? Not too long ago, she got a call that her apartment was broken into. And another teacher tried to call her, but she wouldn't answer. So, what? Are you going to go check on her yourself? At her place? She's within walking distance, isn't she? I believe so. But this is a young woman living by herself. I shouldn't be giving you her address without her permission. We're detectives. Give us a bit of time. I'm sure we can find out ourselves. But on the other hand, that wouldn't be best for either party now, would it? Then can't you just ask her yourself tomorrow? Chairman... You're aware of the Hiro Mikoshiba murder footage, right? Yes, of course I am. But from what I've heard from police sources, it's very likely that video was faked. Well, I have it on good authority it wasn't faked at all. So for the sake of argument, let's say the video's real. And that Ahara is the one behind having posted it deliberately. 
He's got the criminal affairs department saying it's probably fate. So the police are playing right into his hand. And let's say his motive in all this is to avenge his son's suicide. Justice for his bullying that he never got. Now wait just a moment. We proved in court that no bullying had taken place here. Sad as it was, the trial concluded that bullying wasn't what drove poor Eharakun to suicide. Actually, before Toshiro-kun killed himself, Sawa-sensei reported a bullying incident to his homeroom teacher. What? But at the trial, she wasn't able to testify to that. She had no choice but to deny the whole thing. From Ahara's perspective, that was unforgivable. And after all that, Mikoshiba was murdered, and now Sawa-sensei isn't picking up her phone following a break-in at her place. What are you implying here? It's like you're saying she's going to be next. I just want to check up on her. If it turns out the break-in isn't linked, I'll turn right around. And I'll make sure nobody knows the chairman gave me her address. Well, fine. I understand. All right. Sakura Avenue. Cool. Oh yes, 10k. Ooh. All right, perfect guard. I'm probably a perfect guard. Uh. Oh yeah, I gotta get that too. Interesting. Anyway, sorry. Looking at stuff to get later on. All right. How far away? Okay, let's take a cab. Just screw walking. Yep, three zero four. How convenient. Inspector for places inside of Burgundy, right? What's going on here? Here we go. You the hell are you doing here? Kawana? The hell are you doing here? <laughs> that was quick. 
I guess we couldn't ask for a better piece of bait. Kick us off, Akutsu. What? Um, all right, chapter six complete, apparently. Okay. The bullying that pushed Toshiro Ehara over the edge echoes a previous tragedy. Years before, another boy attempted suicide and remains comatose. Yaga I almost forgot I had uh, water in the freezer, BRB. Apartment. Hoping to get some answers that will shed some light on the incident. But, as if by coincidence, he encounters Kiwana instead. What ties could an earnest school teacher and an underground handyman share? Blindsided! Chapter 7, baby. The water is frozen, by the way. <laughs> Let's stay in there too long. Oh well, that's fine. Alright, so what's going on with you guy? Why are you here? <clears throat> Kawana? What the hell are you doing here? You forget to mention you had a connection to Sawa Sensei? Or what? Awkward. Do you or not? And don't pretend you're just here to fix a toilet. What the? Yo. Now it's RK on top of you, Yagami. We've got more incoming. Oh, great. What is this? These idiots aren't after you. It's me they really want. And I just walked into their trap. What could they possibly want with you? To come all the way from Kamurocho. Akutsu, what is this about? Why do you want her? Looks like they don't feel like talking about it. Get these two fuckers first. <sighs> but try to leave them breathing if you can. Time to rumble! Son of a bitch! Come here! Let's go, motherfuckers! Get that knee. Y'all just don't learn. Come here, big boy. Shit, I thought I dodged it. Oh my God, Tiger Suplex.
Asshole. Motherfucker, get off me! See, bitch. That's what I got. All right. Now let's get the bomb of this shit. You stupid son of a bitch! Just stay the fuck out of our way, young me. Can't do that. I can say the same thing to you. Sawa Sensei, you okay? Yes. I'll call the police. That would help. Oh! Hey, let's go, Yagami. You go ahead. You're the one they're after, aren't you? I owe you one. Take Yagami out. Just leave him to us. There's backup downstairs. We'll be right behind you. More? There he goes. Now that it's just us, shall we start from the top? Coming here was the last mistake you'll ever make, you fuck. You're fucking dead, asshole! I highly doubt it. Let's see here. Motherfucker. Bye bye. Motherfucker. Whooped ya. Whew. Hey, Stamina X. Man. Insanity. Zawa Sensei. 
Don't open your door until the cops get here, okay? I have to go make sure Kiwana's all right. I'm fine. But actually, how do you and Kiwana know each other? Dating? Sawa Sensei? Fine. Just please stay in your room, okay? They might be dating. That's my guess so far. Really? Huh? Wait. You're yogging me. Really rather be going at their car right now. Right. Hey! The hell you looking at? Not trying to get in our way, are you? Yeah, I am. But I'm in a hurry myself, so I'm not gonna hold back, alright? Yeah? Big words for a little shit. You're nothing without your friend Kaito. Oh, please. Weapons, huh? Give me that arm. Oh, yeah, they're so wrong. that son oh my god how is that man getting up he should legit be dead if not paralyzed right now what the Might as well use it while it's free. Okay, where are you at? Damn. Kuwana run off to pretty obviously came this way. Yeah. Elevator, maybe? Mm. Uh. Huh? Huh. This motherfucker. No. Hey, check it out. It's Yagami. Yeah, what of it? Hey, trying to screw with RK again? You better be ready to get your ass beat. Aren't you the one screwing with me? Besides, I'm not behind any of this. All right, enough of your bullshit. You better say a quick prayer, asshole. Here we go. Let's go. Sit down. Go to sleep. Really, guys? What a waste. These guys are pathetic. Hey, it's Kuana. Don't let him get away. Uh oh. Oh boy. Kuana. Hey. Been waiting for you. You a slow runner or something? 
Uh, they got here before I did. Yagami, the human knows in our business again. How about I stick you in an oil barrel and see if you fly? You could try. It's a halfway decent threat this close to the sea. Ooh, the great detective sounds intimidated. If we make it out of this, I've got some questions that need answering. Sawa sensei won't talk. I wouldn't worry about the future. <laughs> Your life is coming to an end soon. Yagami! Come on. Come on. Come here. Damn, all that fuck. Wait, what? Oh, you know what this calls for, chat? <laughs> I'm trying, man. I'm trying to do a drunken Yagami. I don't know why he won't do it, though. There we go. Let's do this. I had to. Take your hot shit. Are you not? Stay down, would you? Not happening. Good luck. Yeah. Are you asshole? Bring it. Let go. Motherfucker just left me. Oh, I'm kicking his ass. Next time I see him, I'm kicking his ass. See what I got. Parkerana, motherfucker. Sit down. Bye bye. Oh, I was hoping I'll take care of you. This will. And that's Yakami Kung Fu. Kawana? Hey, Kawana! 
He ran off, Yagami. Oh, fine. At least you could have done to say thank you. We ain't done, Yagami! Dude, I've done whooped you like several you times already. Tough, but do you ever quit? It's not over till it's over, you little shit. Oh shit. The hell's that? Sawa Sensei. Stop it! Someone's here too? I wouldn't have expected you and this bitch to be connected. What the hell do you think you're doing? This has nothing to do with her. You're the detective, aren't you? You figure it out. Huh? Time's up. No! No! Oh, God! Oh, I felt that. Oh. But I'll say no, I thought they were going to kill her. Before we go any further, this GPS will lead his friends straight to us. Oh, <laughs> really, Karma? Hey, 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 hey. Yagami. Rise, I shine. shine. <sighs> there he is. I was starting to worry you might not wake <laughs> up. Fair. My men are glorified amateurs at this stuff. The technique for knocking someone out takes practice to get down. So. Oh, good. No brain damage. Man, I'm glad you're tough as nails. Now we can get to the fun part, huh? Yagami-san here just saved your asses. You wouldn't be standing if he didn't come around. Oh, shit. There's no way we could have known this asshole would show up. Not my fault everything went to shit. This was your operation anyway. Fine. It's okay. But you need to make sure you keep your boys in check from here on. Huh? Did that hurt? It hurt, right? The fuck, man? See? You all see? First comes pain, and then the fear. You have to start with pain. Fear won't work if you haven't given them reason. Slap them around, but you do need to keep them conscious. Enough to keep the fear alive. That's how you get what you want to hear. Am I right? I can tell when someone's lying. My superiors found that useful. Probably why they kept me around. Now, no playing dumb and none of your tricks. Don't underestimate me. Yagami-san. Well, fuck. So, what's the deal between you and that lady teacher? Uh, we're colleagues, as of a few days ago. Thank you, nerdy! The fuck are you talking about? Stay out of this. Uh, hey, Tug! Huh? Yeah, the game's I'm amazing. I'm telling you to shut up and leave this to me. I'm focusing. Besides, Yagami-san here is telling us the truth. He's just being a little vague, is all. So what do you mean, Sawa Sensei is your colleague? Ah, uh, Gusa, this Soma guy is perceptive as hell. Facts. I was asked to look into a bullying case at Serio High. That's all I meant by it. How about that? What'd you do to her? Oh, she's sound asleep now, I'm sure. Our business isn't with her, anyway. You want Kawana? Right. About that. You keep no. calling him Kuwana. That's not who we know him as. Huh? Kuwana is his alias. A fake name? That's right. So tell me, what is he? What do you know him for? <sighs> you get two seconds to answer. What does this Kuwana guy do? He's a handyman. In Ijincho. Everybody knows him. 
He's been taking jobs in the area for a long time now. A handyman, huh? Well, from the way it sounds, you haven't known each other very long. <sighs> yeah. His real name's Kitakata. Ring any bells? Well, there you have it. Your face says you have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> so then, any idea where your Kuwana-san went? We have some business with him. I wouldn't tell you even if I knew. Of course you wouldn't. And I suppose that's not a lie. But it's probably more accurate to say you don't know where he is, either. Turns out you don't have a damn thing on him. <sighs> Shit. Know what that means? <sighs> it means you have no more use for me. Fuck. Shame to be smart and still lose, huh? Now I got a question for you. Did you really think you'd walk out of here alive? I mean, maybe. Or is it going to be in a body bag? You know, typically Yakami gets out of shit alive. Always. The fear in your eyes tells me everything I need to know. And you're probably right. <laughs> you aren't going to enjoy what little time you have left. It's going to be painful as hell. Because I'll be the one enjoying it. What brings you to a Jin show and after a teacher? And why Kawana too? How do you even know him? I could tell you his little part and give, couldn't I? Except I ain't feeling so generous. Ooh. Oh, come on. Jeez. Ah. Look, I'm not some bicycle that everybody can ride, okay? Not cool. Pretty boy detectives looking rough. But you didn't think we were done yet, did you? <laughs> hey! Fire that thing up. Wait, what thing? Get him on his feet. And I don't want to see him squirming. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. A chainsaw? Not every day you get a chance like this. Record this shit. Yo. How quickly can a chainsaw kill a guy should be the video title when we upload it. This kind of shit gets so many views. Am I right, Yagami? We'll go in slow and get your fingers all cut to shreds. <laughs> we'll take that up to the right wrist, then we'll switch over to the left side. Right forearm, left forearm. Why don't we make this formal? Take first dibs. You show us how it's done. You, you want me to do it? Time to man up. We gotta show the world what happens when you fuck with RK. Killing shits like him is what puts hair on your chest, guys. Just try not to kill him until everyone gets a turn. <sighs> Get to work! But, but, sir... Figure it out. Akutsu. He won't do it himself, you know. <laughs> Recording it puts the evidence of a murder out there on video. And he won't be on it. But you guys will be. Who do you think they'll come for, moron? <sighs> you still talking? <laughs> Fill your intestines on the fucking floor! No! Kaito! Yo! You got company! Indeed. How the hell? How'd you fucking find us here? Uh, Kaito's... 
Suppose I ought to thank you boys for keeping Tuck nice and comfortable, Akutsu. Yeah, but we were just getting to the grand finale. You two can have front row seats. I'll pass. This show kind of sucks. Block all the doors! These three are fucking dead. You hear me, boys? I don't want anyone leaving the building! Good call. I don't want anyone leaving either. Not until I'm done with you. Oh! How the fuck is y'all gonna be able to move and fight right now? Is beyond me. He has been beat shit. Don't be a tough guy, Talk. Feel free to take a breather if you need to. I don't know about that, Kaito san. He's got that look. That's the face he makes when he's got a score to settle and some ass to kick. You still haven't gotten your fill of this, Yagami? <laughs> I'll admit, this is kind of fun, man. Maybe killing you would be a mistake. I've got an even better idea. I'll tie you up and keep you as a pet. You know what? I think I could punch you as many times as I want right now. But in circumstances such as they are, no one could even blame me. Huh? I'm saying I've earned a little payback, Akatsu. Let's, Let's do this! Oh, let's rumble, bitches. Let's go. Oh, it's right on a smartphone right now. Let's go. Fuck it up. Damn it. Nope. DDT, motherfucker. I fucked up. Oh my god, let me do it. Let's go, bitch. Don't get these knees. Indeed, it's hype. What the fuck? Okay. That health. Oh, give me this bat. Get smacked around. Oh, let's go. WWE time. Sit down, son. Bitch, please. What else I got? He's teleporting. Ow, headbutt. Oh god, he's choking me! Show me what you got. Why are you still alive? I don't want to use on his ass. 
I don't want to use, huh? What's left? Damn it, I can't use that anymore. Motherfucker. Sit your ass down. I tried to use the battery. Oh, the chair. Yeah, I tried to use the battery real quick. At least I thought I did. Damn, get the punch. What the hell does Arky want with Kuwa? What did he do? Tell me how Sawasense and Kawan are connected. You ask too many questions, you fucking asshole. I'm an inquisitive guy. Tell me, why go to all the effort in Kamurojo to find Shinya Kawai? What are you trying to do? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Akutsu! Man, that guy's invincible. And he's faster than he looks. Asshole. He knew it was a lost cause, so he took off at the first opportunity. I'm guessing that's why he was holding back. Are you serious? He couldn't be that sharp. Nah. He's definitely got some skills. And we better start taking him seriously. Hmm. Got a good chunk of SP and money for that, though. That's gonna give about a game beyond sale. I forget which one it is. I had no idea you went through so much. I'm just glad you had the mind to tip off Kaito-san that I wasn't picking up your calls. That got Tsukumo to track my phone over GPS and locate me using the town security cameras. Long story short, you saved me. I had to try something. I'm the one who dragged. Oh, the booty. Never mind. Off. But you know, the first person to suspect something was Higashi-san. He thought it was strange for you to be suddenly unavailable. <laughs> Better thank him, too. By the way, I'd like to share the details I recently gathered on Shinya Kawai. Kawai was a bully at Kurokawa Academy. Five years ago, he was abducted by individuals thought to be his acquaintances. A worker at a girls' bar witnessed this. And based on that, RK apparently deduced that Kawai was murdered. Got it. Then I suggest you steer clear of RK as much as possible. They fly off the handle faster than the Yakuza. Right. I never imagined things would get this dangerous. We just got back to Sawasensei's apartment. I thought RK was in Kamurocho looking for Kawai. But they came to ambush a handyman named Kawana. Did you say handyman? Yeah, but he plays a wider field than your average Mr. Fixit. It's popular on the Ijincho underground. Even Kawana was a fake name. And this mystery man had some connection to Sawa-sensei? Yeah, and I'm about to ask her about him directly. I need to get everything I can out of her this time. Understood. We're still dealing with a lot of unknowns. So take care of yourself, okay? I'll be alright. I'm with two guys I can trust now. Hell yeah, my boys! Yo, what's Sawa-sensei's room number? Just hold your horses coming with you <laughs> Kaito stay stay trying to get him some sour sensei he wants that girl oh damn I got a lot of shit okay cool um definitely getting that definitely getting that uh, I need to get that skill book Hmm. All right. I need to resupply on some stuff too. Do you need like shops nearby? Nah, we'll go to later. Screw it. I'll resupply later. We're off stream. 
Get inside. Let's talk to her. Sure is quiet. This is where the fight went down? Yeah. But to look at it, you wouldn't think anything had happened here. <laughs> Kaito! <laughs> Sawa-sensei? You there? Jogami. What's up? Uh-oh. The door. Uh-oh. Huh? Oh, please don't be dead. No, we talk. Oh, God, please don't be dead. She's dead. God damn it, man! Who did it? No way. Oh God. <laughs> let out, Yagami. Let out. She was just a teacher. Oh my god, this shit. Oh my god, this shit is so intense. Damn, how the fuck did I get done with two chapters in one freaking stream like this? Oh my god. <sighs> Actually, three technically. Finished up chapter five, did six, and then seven. Oh, I plan to. Oh, I plan to, Atoshi. We're getting some payback. Oh my god. Let's keep going. The school teacher, Yokosawa, is murdered in cold blood, and Yagami is torn with grief. Her death is merely collateral damage to Soma of RK. Soma's real prey is Kawana, who narrowly escapes his trap. It seems Kawana had buried his true identity among a host of other secrets. And to unearth them, Yagami crawls deeper down the rabbit hole. Hmm. Chapter 8. Phantom of the Jincho. Oh, Yagami won't hold back. He won't. In the sense of like, he won't kill, but he will beat the shit out of you. Yeah, that's fine. I get it. You don't want us touching anything inside the room. Is it okay to wait for you inside then? Some private investigators from Kamurocho, Yagami-san and Kaito-san. Yeah. I asked them to help us out with a case we were on a couple days ago. Yes, see you soon. They're coming. The cops are on their way. All right. She was murdered at the hands of Soma. Master. You lied when he said they had no business with her. Of course we did. Why did it have to be her? How did she get pulled into all this? If it's answers you want, you gotta be a detective, talk. We can see the kind of shit that normal people miss. We'll notice what they can't. For now, can you put aside the pain and do the work you need to do? I think he's right. First, let's narrow our focus. It's not about who or how she was murdered. What's more important here is to figure out the answer to the why. Let's consider her connections. We know one of them was to Kowanda the Handyman. Where that leads is that Soma's gang was after Kowanda, and that's why they broke in. In that case, 
The clues that we're after here are her personal relationships. There's our lead. Something that shows how a teacher could be connected to a guy like Kuwana. Yeah. Except Kuwana's a fake name, just his alias. His real name was Kita Kata. Soma gave us that. Kita Kata. Hmm. Okay. What the? She has run her eyes. Damn it. She must have been terrified. Yeah. Smartphone. Could this be Soma Sensei's? Probably. Maybe some RK thugs barged in, took her phone, and threw it in here. What do you want to do? Check her mail? Call log? Yeah, I do. Suspicious. No good. It's got a pin. We don't have time to crack it now. Cops will be here soon. Fuck. So, we just gonna leave it here? Yeah, unfortunately. But let's look around some more. What else are we missing? Uh -huh. Come on, what else? Oh, we got that. Damn it. Oh, what am I overlooking? Hmm. Crap. What could I possibly be overlooking? Check that, we check that. What the? Oh, wait a minute. Blood. Not a lot, though. Yeah, looks like it. Dude, that's gross, bro. Oh, tell you that's gross. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. That's kind of fucked up right there, okay? She literally, this is a dead woman here. That'd be fucked up and nasty and gross. But then look in the panty drawer and it's like, take it for investigation what the fuck <laughs> that's gross dude <laughs> that is so fucked up no you're fine not mad i'm just saying like that's so fucked up like that's not cool oh my god nah man i can't think like that dude i cannot think like that that is like so fucking left field, dude. That you even put that in the chat. So since blood man has reached this far, hmm. The yearbook. Suspicious. Yagami-san. Isn't that your book from when Sawa Sensei went to Kurokawa Academy? Wouldn't there be photos of people like Yui Mamiya and that bully Kawaii in there? Oh, yeah, you're probably right. Weird that there's so much blood around it. Maybe she was trying to leave us a clue. What do you want to do? Take a peek inside? 
Kind of frowned on to mess with a murder scene, yeah? If you're gonna look, make it quick. The cops will be here any minute. There's not enough time to check the whole thing. I think, what do I do with this yearbook? Hmm. We got a few minutes, right? I can see what I find before the cops get here. Well, yeah, only a little. Wait. Scratch that. Fuck. Time's up. Black and white just rolled up. Right. I'm about to take it. I'm gonna hang on to it for now. I'll turn it over to the police later. It's now or never. I won't get another chance to come back to this room. You gonna take it? Really? Is that even legal? Of course not. But fuck legal at this time. Those shady Kurokawa Academy graduates might be connected to Mikoshiba's murder. But we're the only ones with that lead right now. The cops could turn this place upside down and still miss that. Mm, good point. It's better off with us then. Feel like that's what Sawa Sensei wanted. Uh... It's now or never. Sugiyura, we'll deal with the cops. You take the yearbook and get out of here. I have to play the thief? Play? Isn't that exactly what you fucking did back in Kamurocho? Why you gotta bring that up? Fine, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> I mean, he has a point. What's not tell police arrive? I've had to be as thorough as I can right now. Fuck, is there more I gotta look for? How did they get in? What the? Damn. We still know her cause of death. Oh my God. But really moist, really Kefka. Over there being moist. Thank you for the biddies, though. What could be your cause of death? Uh huh. Suspicious. You already examined this, right? Hold on. Oh shit, hold up. Did not see this. Oh god. There's one visible wound here. What do you think, Kaito-san? Sure is tiny. Think she was stabbed with some kind of long needle? An ice pick, most likely. Soma was holding one up to her. Damn, dude. He fucking pulled an attack on Titan on her, man. That's fucked up. That's fucked up, man. It was an ice pick. See. So, Hachat, according to you, the guy who killed Sawa Sensei was... Kazuki Soma. He's the leader of a bunch of thugs in Kamrajo known as RK. Yeah, well, great. Case closed. Then what's your take on the murder scene, Nabe-san? Tone it down, buddy. Remember who's got the badge here. There are footprints of several different men who have been in Sawa Sensei's room. That includes yours, by the way. We'll be analyzing these footprints first, and we'll check any security footage in the surrounding area. We'll ask around for eyewitnesses and narrow down our suspects. And we'll look into RK too, of course. Appreciate your help with that, Detective Yagami. I just saw the coroner walk in. You saw the body too, right? Yeah, just to get a rough idea. Her body will be taken in for an autopsy. Does your rough idea include the cause and time of death? Cause of death? A single stab from behind into the nape of the neck with a weapon similar to an ice pick. As for the time, we're estimating she's been dead for about three hours. Three hours? 
That means it must have been right after I saw her on my phone. Can't click that. Click on a name. I'm not clicking on the damn uh, uh fucking what's the name? I'm trying to click on the name and ban the motherfucker. Here's here's being fucking weird. They come in my chat, dropping links off permission and shit, and coming out that comes off very sketchy to me. Yeah, facts. Why would they go as far? They want them cool. cool, cool? Nabe san, the police need to get a warrant for Soma. We're asking HQ about him as we speak. We need at least a damn mugshot for a warrant. Then isn't it time to hit the street, get in some thug faces? Assume any face you don't recognize is from RK. I get how you feel, ma'am. We'll pull it together. Actually, I'm curious about that Kuwana fella, too. He's lived in Ijincho forever. Why were Kamrocha thugs after him? And now I hear Kuwana isn't even his real name? He and Sawa since they were connected, but how? I'm looking for those same answers myself. <sighs> so you know jack shit about anything important. But you can go on home. You just make sure we can reach you. Sure about this, Nabe-san? Yeah. Assholes like him work better on a loose leash. Foul mouthed as fuck, but not bad, Pops. <sighs> what now? Nabe san, aren't you gonna ask me about Ohara? You know, I went to see him in prison. Oh, that. You saw the video of Ohara killing Miko Shiba, didn't you? I was coming to talk to Sawa Sensei about it. Your point? I think there may have been a link between what happened to Sawa Sensei and Miko Shiba's murder. In which case, wouldn't you want to pump Ahara for information? Why aren't you jumping on that? We got orders from the top that Ahara's off limits. Forever. Wow. They said if we want to try to peg him as Miko Shiba's killer, we'd have to completely flip the guilty verdict on his harassment case. Not exactly the kind of shit a beat cop can pull off. Besides, nobody seems to want to investigate the Miko Shiba murder. Not us, not HQ, not even the prosecution. So cops get to just quit working an investigation because they don't feel like it? <laughs> if there was even a hope we could close it, every cop here would be all over it. Everyone knows Ahara stinks to high hell. And they still won't let us touch the goddamn thing. It's above our pay grade. We'll bury the case so deep it never sees the light of day. Yeah, feels like Sawa Sensei's case is about to get the same treatment. Right? Hey, I told you to watch it, buddy. Save the dirty looks for your superiors. They're the bastards so desperate to sweep this under the rug. The hell do you? Cool it, Sakurai. I mean, he's right. <laughs> Fuck, man. I, I know this is all very sudden. We don't have many details yet. And as you've heard, the police are working to find answers as we speak. Sawa Sensei, well, she got mixed up in some sort of incident. This may attract press to the school, and some of them may even wish to speak to you. But please, do your best to ignore them. Again, we don't have all of the facts, and it's not for all of you to, well... None of you are under any obligation to speak to them, so please don't. All that I can ask for now, spare a prayer for Sawa Sensei, please, if you can. Please. Please. <laughs> okay. We better get everyone back to class. Starting with the third years. Hmm.
Excuse me, Yagami-san? If you don't mind, Chairman Okuda said he'd like to speak with you if you would be on campus today. It's about Sawa-sensei. Yeah, I can do that. Will he be in his office? Yes. Thank you for everything, sir. Sell her to the chairman's office, but it's gonna be hard to talk about anything. Facts. Shit, man. Uh Damn, this shit's so serious and sad. Yagami san. Oh. Hey. I still can't believe what happened to Sawa sensei. Yeah. I know. Do you know anything about it? I saw the scene of the crime. I was the first one to find her. What? The killer's still on the loose, but I know who it is. Is there any way I can help? Maybe you could share some details about the case. No, not this time. This one's too dangerous. I'm not going to get you involved. But... Just leave Sawa Sensei's case to me. Don't you have your own cases to solve? Yagami san. <sighs> Okay. Listen, you're a brilliant kid. You can't afford to let this throw you off your game, right? Yes, you're absolutely right. If I let that happen, it'll damage the MRC's credibility. Exactly. So here's what I'm thinking, Amasawa. Let's just carry on like normal. And please spread the word to the rest of the MRC. That'd help me out a bunch. Yes, I can do that. All right. Curious. Not up there. Oh, I can continue this stuff now. Except for biker gang. We're gonna talk to the chairman though. Uh, third floor, I think. Thank you for coming. Sure. No problem. Oh, yeah, dude. Have a seat if you would. In that detective's report, Saba Sensei was. Well, it said you were the one who found her body. That's right. You had been concerned for Saba Sensei's safety before the incident. You're able to see things I can't. You have something of a gift for that, Yakimi-san. I wish I could agree with that. But... I'm overlooking details. I'm letting too much slip away. And quite frankly, there's still a lot that I haven't figured out yet either. Like what? May I have an example? There's this local handyman. Kawana is the name he goes by in the city. Right before it happened, I ran into him in front of Sawa Sensei's apartment. There's no way it was a coincidence. So, you think he could be the culprit? Actually, I don't think so. Not really. That said, Kawana has something to do with all this. Sawa Sensei may have gotten caught up in his mess. In fact, Kawana is just an alias he uses, and he's being hunted by these thugs from Kamrocho. They're a gang called RK. And it's weird, but they've been looking for this punk named Kawai. And Kawai's connected to it, too. Sawa Sensei went to the same school as him 13 years ago. Wow, these details are flying so far over my head. Your investigation has gone well beyond what I can comprehend, and it's left me in the dust. But I just can't do this anymore. Between my own faculty and the press, I'm being bombarded. I'm afraid it's just too much for me to bear. I'm sorry to hear that. But you know what? What's been the hardest part? Is feeling so powerless as all these young people have their lives cut short. Because Shifukun being discovered dead, 
Eiha-san committing murder on video. And now poor Sawa Sensei's tragedy too. I can't help but feel in my heart that these incidents are related. That somewhere below the surface all these misfortunes are connected to the same root. I would have to agree. Then I suppose it's only a matter of digging down deep enough. Though I couldn't begin to imagine how much soil would have to be turned to uproot it. But one thing, Yakimi-san, if you would, could I ask that you continue to keep digging until you get to the bottom? Can you? Sawa-sensei deserves to have her chance at justice. A wonderful teacher like her. Why? She had a whole future to look forward to, the poor woman. And now this happens. It's just not right. As it stands, I still need to collect more evidence. So you know, I can't make any promises just yet. I could hit a dead end. But no matter what anyone does, no matter who tries to stop me, I'm gonna keep digging. Damn right! You're a saint. These past few days have felt like a never-ending nightmare. What a breath of fresh air. And I appreciate the good news. Of course. I'm glad we could talk, Chairman. And now, Sawa Sensei's old class is going to be my next worry. I'm sure you're well aware that that class has some students with a pension for causing trouble. I fear that with her gone, we may need to prevent a relapse for those bullies you stopped. Are you referring to Kodasan then? Hmm. I understand. While I'm working on campus, I'll keep an eye on them. Gotta keep him in line. All right. Uh, no direction. What to do next? Check on class two two before I leave campus. Hmm. Uh, actually, 2-2. Two, two. Are you on the second floor? Yes, you are. Must reach these keys. Yagami san, what do you want? You know, things have been really weird around here ever since you showed up. First, they find Miko Shiba sensei's body. Now, Sawa sensei winds up getting murdered. Are you the angel of death or something? Is that it? Please, get out of here with that shit. I wouldn't blame you for thinking that. Everyone's so damn gloomy. It sucks. Sawa Sensei was popular with all the boys. But her classes were super easy and honestly pretty boring. You won't catch me moping around crying about it like all these losers. Ha ha. You heartless motherfucker. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hypocrites. But no. You assholes were practically celebrating what happened to Miko Shiba Sensei. Hey, we've heard enough out of you. Yeah. Fuck off, you little twerp. <laughs> Bluffish. What do you want, Coda? Yagami san, well, we're fine. There's a lot we don't understand, so we just feel a bit vulnerable right now. But, um, well, if you learn more about Sawa Sensei, could you? Please keep us in the loop, too. Oh, please, bitch. What's with this goody two-shoes bullshit? Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? 
Oh the fuck off. Where do you get off on coming to her like that, motherfucker? Oh my god. Where is this chick's mama? Because her mama needs to give her ass whooping. What the fuck? Fucking ir uh, immature, troublemaking bitch. Yo. Fucking chill, Akane. What's your problem? Like I said before, I'm a detective. And I'm looking into Hiro Mikoshiba's murder. That's why I was talking to Sawa Sensei. It's highly likely she got wrapped up in that case. So make no mistake, I'm going to find the truth about what happened to them both. <laughs> kind of pointless. The internet's already branded Mikoshiba Sensei as the villain in all this. Everyone says he had it coming since he used to be a bully himself. Yeah, I know. Anyway, if you're interested in hearing my report, just drop me a line. Maybe seeing my work might put things into perspective for you. <laughs> Detective my ass. Just get out of my face! Fucking rude ass. So I get into these games where it's like, I get into the characters and shit, and they, the characters piss me off, I'm gonna call so them out. Akane, she was really into Mikoshiba Sensei. They got along great, chatted all the time. Then all of a sudden, he just disappeared. She thought they had a connection, but turns out it was only one way. Now she's always so pissed off. Keeps driving herself over the edge because she can't even reach the brakes. <sighs> I'm not saying all this because I expect you to forgive us. The fact that you recognize you did some awful things is a step in the right direction at least. I'm sorry, Coda. For everything we did to you. <sighs> you can't expect her to ever forgive you. If anything, expect that she never will. <sighs> I know. That said, good job apologizing. Thanks. Oh man, all this drama. All right, we did that. Now I gotta leave the school. We'll do, we'll do that next time. Uh.